Three. Hello, everyone. I'm Hi. Bruno. Welcome. I'm Alga. We have a new name that we want to tell you about. It's, it's called, called Master Dating, Dating with, with Alga. Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, was I don't know. Courtney. But I like Courtney and Alga. Thank Either you. one. I, I don't care. I feel like I'm more of the domineering. Like, if we were lesbians, I would be the butch one. Yeah, definitely. So it probably Except I be dress true. like the butch and you dress like the girl. That's true. Maybe you should be the butch one. No. I don't want to be the butch. I, I don't know if lesbians go by personality or the way they, they're outside. We should ask. We'll bring one on next time. So we have some updates for you guys. That's what we're going to start with. Yes. We have some structure now. So... <laughs> what do you want to update? I would like to update that, um, well, a few things. This guy, I recently moved to the suburbs, sort of, and uh, I realized that half the people in my neighborhood are swingers. So my neighbors, I think they're swingers. That's what I'm convinced of. And I got this random DM from a guy who is just a husband, and he said, um, you guys look fun. Ha! Huh? He's like, do you, want, do you want to go for a drink? And I was like, I screenshotted it and I sent it to my husband. I was like, is he, what is, and he was like, is he a swinger or does he want to be friends? But I'm looking for friends. So but I, why wouldn't he text Bobby that? Exactly. I think. Like, oh, is he, and then he had no That's pictures so of the wife because <gasps> I was like, maybe. Oh my God. I, I don't know. I've never tried that. So I said, um, do you want to be friends or swinging? And he was like, oh, well, what You else? said that? I know, Bobby was like, don't respond. But I responded. <laughs> Is he your neighbor neighbor? No, he lives in Westchester. He's probably watching right now. That is so awkward. <laughs> so what did he say after um, you said? So he said, well, is there anything else to do in the burbs? Like, besides swinging? And I was like, oh, he, I think he... And then he was like, ha ha, JK, we just want to be friends. And I was like... Okay, this is weird. Um, but now right? he's probably, may, imagine he never even thought of the swinging and now he's like, ooh. Right, maybe, maybe this girl's swing. crazy. Not crazy. Maybe this girl wants to swing. He probably jerked off to one of your pictures. Ugh. Olga has a thing where that guys yes, look I on hear Instagram about this. and jerk off to it when they yes. can easily look at porn. That's why they say that, okay, when you're <laughs> single, and you have pictures on Instagram, guys will jerk off to it. Okay, I and don't And then think when so. you get married, they defollow you. I'm that telling you. That has happened to me a I'm lot. I've lost you. a lot of Exactly, because a lot of men are like, I don't want to jerk off to some married bitch. <laughs> or they're like, now I can't have her. The screwed up ones are like more turned on because now you're unavailable. And those are really not the ones you want. And they're just always going to come back. Interesting. Um, did you ever have an ex come back after you're married? A, a haunter? <gasps> yes. Hello, my ex still haunts The one that me. we saw in the Soho house? No, we didn't oh. see anyone. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> Not intentionally, okay? Yeah. Olga happened to meet him, and I was like, oh, crazy's here, so we don't go to that one anymore. Um. <laughs> we don't. Okay. So, what's new with me? Um, uh, I got booty called. Here. Is yeah, it a booty call? By her parents. Oh, no. By my parents, <laughs> but also a guy. No, my parents do booty call me all the time. Like, they're just like, oh, uh, we're here. Where are you? Like, uh, like right, I'm just going to drop anything right, hanging out with there. them. But, of course, you're I like, do. You're like, I'm busy, but you're doing nothing. I'm busy with my other booty call, Sometimes the one that gives me some play D. play the game with your mom. No, I, I text them. I'm like, I'm in Brooklyn, and my mom doesn't answer me for, like, days. And, sorry, I'm so busy. Where are you now? It's like a legit booty call from my mother. It's weird. Yeah. It's you have weird. To respond. They're, like the, they're like the scary man in your life. Moms well, are scary, especially Jewish ones. But you also got booty called by a man. I did. Twice. Same guy. Which means that but it's your fault but I didn't after do, the second time. I didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't meet him. I'm not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Courtney, I'm a nice Jewish you. girl. Hello. No sex till marriage. Right. Except if you're watching this. Unless it's then a I'll have call. sex with you. <laughs> She's single and ready to mingle. I'm single and ready to fuck. <laughs> also, we got our uh, we got our tarot cards read recently. Oh my god. And they're not true. No. 
not at all. First of all, I just want to say, if you're a tarot card reader, like, we all know that you're making half of it up, so why be mean? Like, be nice. Tell the person that they're going to have the best have life and that guy's going to come back to you. Right. Like, why are they saying, oh, you're going to die alone? Like, because fuck they're you. trying to be like, if I tell them the scary truth, then they'll think I'm real and pay me. What do you mean by that? There's a tarot card reader they want that to get sits paid. outside of Lure in Soho. Yeah. And one time she was on a break, a cigarette break, so I took her job. Mm. And I just sat in the thing and I was like, I'm giving out free readings, $10. And I read people, so, and I was really good at it. Real? What you? Were you nice? N- no, I was. Why? Truthful. Because if someone. What do you mean looks truthful? You like read a player. Com- I'm like, oh, all you have to do is read their body language. So you'd be like, you look like a player. She's like, you look like a girl that wears plaid and Converse sneakers. Right. And I'm like, how do like you, you know? Don't know what you're how do you know? <laughs> you look like you just got your hair cut. Right, and I'm you like, should grow it out or this you'll is never so get crazy. Right, and this is I hate when they go like this. Tell me your relationship status. No, bitch, right. that's why I'm me. paying you, you to read me. my cards. <laughs> right, right. Yes, it's insane. And he told Olga she was like so genuine, yeah, and gen- yeah generous. She, they're like, you're so genuine, ge- generous, generous. generous. And Olga was like, I'm not. I'm a like, generous now person. I know you're lying because I'm <laughs> not <way>. generous. <laughs> I'm not nice. I'm like, what are you I talking don't give, about? I take only. And then she, no, I don't take. I, but I'm not generous. Oh. What? Who's what drew? What yes, drew? Yes, please. We we welcome yes, questions. Questions. Um, give us questions. So please, please send in your questions. What do an orgic? Okay. Also. Oh wait. At at what point did you realize that you and your best friend were no longer friends? At what point did you realize that you and your best friend were no longer friends? Um, what do you mean? I had one friend? friend who I broke up with. Oh, your best friend like a boyfriend? I think he's talking about us, maybe? I don't know. This person's confused. But friends break up all the time. This, when, this is tequila. Usually it's when you sleep with your boyfriend. Um, I'm trashed. Also, Olga is drinking tequila because she was just feeling it today. Yeah, she wanted like, coffee, I'll, and I'll now she's on tequila. Tequila. Okay. Also, uh, now we're gonna do tips. Our tip of the week. Okay. We have several. Okay. So <laughs> you start. Okay. My tip of the week is if you're a guy and uh, don't talk about how much money you make ever. <gasps> oh my God. Yes. Because. Because it's not one. People who have money just don't talk about it. It just doesn't make sense. If you talk about it, then people are going to want you for that. And someone with money will never want someone to know they have it. A- until What like, if they really don't have any money whatsoever and then they don't talk about it? And you're on the date and you're like, he's probably so rich because he never mentioned money once. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what you should do because the girl will be tricked. <laughs> if you're a smart guy, just don't talk about it. That's true. Because... Yeah. I just been out it's with just guys weird. Stupid. It's just weird. And then and, this is another. Well, this is my tip, but okay. But I, if you're a yeah, girl you out and you're trying to get a guy like that, yeah. don't only talk about their job, or ask about like money, or say like, yeah. "Oh, I expect you to buy me a plane ticket and like all this to stuff." Wow. Because guys with money are gonna read. What kind of that. person? Well, there's nothing to read. It's obvious. I know, but it's they're like, like the tarot oh, I want a guy. Like, <laughs> Wait, question. It's a bad idea. What kind of girl does that? Orgic, they, Olga's drinking tequila. Yes. Um, or get catch some tequila with me. I'll do a shot. Yes. So, what kind, just explain to me one thing. What kind of girl does that? Girls who don't know how to date. So what we're just to let them. girls know there is an app for it and it's called sugardaddy.com. <laughs> I heard about it, right? <laughs> yes. I've never I been on No, I'm kidding. I've never been on it. I mean, it, but. I talked to that woman from Millionaire Matchmaker and she was oh, like... Oh, you did? Because they were like, we want to recruit you How to be a matchmaker. I was like, hell no. Isn't that a weird show? Yeah, it's really creepy. And then she yeah. was like, you know, you don't actually have to recruit millionaires. They just like need to be able to put up the 40K or whatever to be inducted. I was like, this is a joke. 
If I was a million, bleh, millionaire matchmaker and some guy was like whatever there and I was like, ooh, I'm going to be with some millionaire and then he only had 40K, I'd be so disappointed <laughs> in the gone. show. I just okay. like, right? I'd go on, They're like, what do they call it when you review things? Like audit? No. You know when you go to a restaurant and they review it? And Review they write the bad tab? things. It's a website. Oh, like Yelp? Yeah, You're I'll go Yelp to Yelp. I and I'll be like, me. Millionaire Matchmaker is a fraud. Yeah. More like Thousandaire. <laughs> More like zero. Exactly. Because there are people who give all their money. Like, invest it. Apple's doing well. Um, Coca-Cola, don't go to Millionaire Matchmaker. Although that is my favorite TV show. Is it? So, oops. Really? Yeah, it's really entertaining. Wow. So my tip of the week. Yes. Okay. Cause I was on another, on Friday I was like hanging out with this guy. He was at my show. And you know when I go, you, I want you, like yeah, that she has car. a joke that says, yeah, I have a joke. she points to the audience. I point and I go, I just pick out any hot boy in the crowd and I just go, you, I want you. And usually at the end of the show, they're like, oh my God, she picked me. And I'm like, dude, I had three other shows. I picked three other guys. Right. But the ledge, <laughs> the ledge. They really but, think they're special. Me, they are. Sometimes they are. On Some, Saturday, there was a hot one. But, really? I mean, yeah. But Friday, the guy was nice. And um, then at the end, we like hung out and like we went to like, you know, drinks, diner or whatever. And we were talking about like um, who pays. Like I was being like, because at this point, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to date him, whatever. Talking about like how feminists makes they make everything so confusing because like I come from an old school Feminists tradition. Have screwed up yes. everything. <laughs> now when we go on dates, we have to be like, mm, can right. I like split that with Are you? you? Weak and woman then you're not paying. Right. I'm like, put me in the kitchen where I belong. Right. But why do I have to be out there? Exactly. Like now you have to the do the like fake offer and then well, the like guy. It. Yeah. Sometimes. And, and then the guy's like, the guy's like, Oh no, you don't have to pay. It's on me. Don't worry. Like they say that, but they appreciate the you fake always offer. Should try. You but should like, always offer. Why? What's the? What's up with the fakeness of like the? And then the, and then if he asks, no. it's like just cut that out. Feminists I made everything weird, like, and we just you, don't. You put your purse like at an awkward angle at the table. So when the check comes, you like have a lot you of go time like, to reach for it. And you're like, oh my God, I'm so, no, no. And then you're still reaching for it, but they're, they're like, it's fine. You're like, no, I want to get this. There's really a talent to it. But I do have a question <laughs> because I know, let's say I'm on a date with a guy and he, I like him. Right. I come from a place where if I did offer, the guy would read it as, oh, she's so not interested in me. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like with Bobby, did you offer? Yes, I you always did? offered and like he let me So is that what you're supposed to do? Because I never Sometimes. did. Maybe that's why I'm Yes, single. you always have to. It's the same thing of being like, So always fake. Job? It's better to fake. Yes, and maybe also pay a couple times. Why? Because then it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a normal person. Pay for the full thing? Yes. Uh, you're gonna go broke, but it's fine. I mean, I would spend like hundreds of dollars on first dates and like, I would have okay, let's say a guy's like, and I'd be like, oh, it'll be worth it. Isn't it the worst when you're at a party and a guy's like, what do you want to drink? I'll get you a drink and the drinks are free. And it's like, not Excuse like, me? you know, when the drink, you're at a party and drinks are free. Like you're at a party and, and you're like, oh, and the I guy likes to act macho and be like, I'm going to get you a drink. Oh, and it's like, like it's an the drinks bar. are free. You're like, like at a wedding. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> when they try to act it's like, yeah, it's not good. That means they're poor. <laughs> well, or, or they're kidding. just being nice and getting you a drink. That's true. I think a lot of wealthy guys try to put you through a test of like, will she offer to pay? And like, is this girl after me for one thing? So if you just, you know, try to pay for a lot, not too much. I don't know. Eventually. Whatever. Or it's maybe all you're good. just going to be way more successful than any anyways. And you, so it doesn't really matter. But men could get. I'm fine with a house husband. Men could get a little As long threatened. as they're really hot. Right. Some men don't like that. Right. I don't know. No, I'm not actually now, fine. 
they need to be at the office. I, I think I have to take a break from okay. the drinking. Okay. Next. Now we're, okay. I should have said this a long time ago because it would really lure you guys in, but we have probably the best show ever today. Yes. It, it, we have two special guests. The first special guest is like, I'm obsessed with her. Okay. She has a podcast called How Come. She is a comedian and she's like a hot comedian, which is rare. Yes. <laughs> so we like that. And I've known her for a long time and we were friends um, through like comedy we dated. Oh and no, really? We're no longer with them. And now we're still friends. So not through comedy. Right. Really? Yeah. Wow. And she also had her own business before comedy. She's great. Um, so you're going to meet her very soon. Yes. Her name and is Remy Casimir. Yes. She's How a, come her podcast? Her podcast is literally like above. It's like number one. Um, she's, I think, only has 10 episodes. It's so and it's above. Who was it that was like really important? I was like, this is ridiculous. Oh. Um, she'll tell us when she gets on. Yeah. And so she'll tell you what it's it. about. If you want to start a podcast, just do it because you'll probably be very yeah. successful. Yeah. But hers is interesting because she talks about how she didn't have an orgasm for most of her life until this year when she went through experiments that the podcast gave her. And she's 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Um, I look a little red. Okay, so let's Who looks move red? locations and oh, meet. Oh, and we also, we have magician. Should we tell him? Oh, sorry. Secondly, yes. we have a super cool magician. Yes, and he's going to help Dante. us. Devontae he's gonna help Devontae. me. Devontae. He's gonna magic up a boyfriend. Uh, and he's like better than David Blaine, so that's mm -hmm. kind of ridiculous. And I, I like. I'm. I've always been fascinated with magic. I like had those sets when I was little, and I would try to really? do my own things, and I was never good. But um, I know how to do one trick. Really. But it's so stupid. But I know how to do it. And David Copperfield just had to reveal his trick. Apparently, was that him? It was in the news because he like has been in court for it. I don't I don't know what happened with that. So okay. So tell. now. All right. Now we're gonna meet. Wait. Can I'll bring this. Ready? All of my drinks. Our amazing guest. Yes. Remy Casimir. Yes. Coming through. <laughs> Hi. Remy. Come. Please sit on the couch. Yes, Remy. Woo. Yay. So you're sure, in the middle. Yeah. You. Yes, please come in between us so yes. we can sandwich you. Hello. Hello. Do you have a mic? Yeah, I'm, oh, I got yeah. a mic because you guys so are all lapped uh, up. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. One like, of them fun. One of them got... Um, this is what I do yes. all day. It's just whole oh, podcast. Oh, it's because she's... Microphone. Yeah, hey and because also she's... Um, yeah. It's a comedian. What do you... I, I, you're a comedian too? Yeah, I'm a comedian. Cool, okay. Oh, what do you... I no, no, not I met. never, never. <laughs> the first ever time met. we met was was in the elevator. Like I just like to hold it like this. I I'm actually, like a little good choir girl, even though I'm I went to the stand one night yeah. with Chloe. You know Chloe. Yeah. Okay, you were on. Okay. But then I had to leave. I wanted to say, "Oh my God, good set," but oh, I was fun. like, "Yeah, okay, cool. sorry." Yeah, no, we met but. for the first time downstairs, and I thought that she like because I. I don't know, my my brain didn't put two and two together, so right. I thought she was just another friendly person going into the right. building. She's like, oh, hi, and I was like, oh, hi, yeah, I'm also oh. going to the building, how fun. <laughs> yeah, and then like they started talking, and she's like, that's Remy, and I was like, oh, she knows me. <laughs> yeah, and like, wow. And I was like, I'm not that famous, so, okay. I would be like, awesome. this. oh my God, could it, this is Remy from How Come. Yeah, how I'm Remy okay. from How Come, I'm hi. I'm talking about how we met first. Okay. Because it's really interesting for, yeah. We were dating this guy. Or she, you were dating a guy for like a long time. Yeah. I was, I was with my first boyfriend, like straight out of college for like three years. And then you came, so crazy. his friend, um, who's a, a playa playa and also a Virgo, love ya, um, was dating Courtney. He was, she was like one of the, one of the I ladies in, in the roto. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't think I was in rotation because he was like telling me things like he loved me. Right. Well, because he does. That's the thing with us Virgo. I'm a Virgo too. That's why, why was I'm he telling me that? because we What's love Virgo? you. When, when's Virgo? We love you. Like, <laughs> like I life. love you while I'm with you, but then I'm like, when I'm I love you. Right. I mean, when, what is I'm, Virgo? Which date? So I'm September 9th. Um, oh, okay. My boyfriend's also a Virgo. Like, really? Wait, yeah. Really? They're yeah. crazy. We're crazy. I Virgos are crazy. Yeah. What I mean, are you? He was like so yeah, nice. Yeah. What are you? 
Yeah, no, we're really no. You're, You're fucking Scorpio? crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh. Crazy one. I'm a Leo. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like Leos too. That, I think. Yeah. King of the Zodiac. I love Leos. Um, but yeah, so they were friends and we met and I actually went to your Caroline's comedy show. Yeah. It was like a, it wasn't breakout. It was maybe like a bringer in the beginning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what can. Yeah. So, and I hadn't started yet. Like, Oh really? I'm, How long have you I've been I've only been yet? doing comedy three years. That's or it? stand up. Yeah. Oh wow. I was doing She's improv before good. that. Thanks. Did you do UCB? Really good. I did. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Really? Yeah. All the way through? Yeah, 401, but I don't know if I passed because I, no, because I never, Mm -hmm. you know, when you're trying to find out if you fail, I I didn't want to know because I really think I did fail. That's part of it. I didn't want to know. I actually did fail 401 the first time. Really? But I will I say failed. my teacher was absent a lot because he was getting a lot of work, so he mm. couldn't, like, see me every week. Right? They're always so like, that's hey, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, and I mean, like, whatever. I'm glad I did it twice. It, I loved UCB. It was I feel like I did fail. Well, Maybe. I, I have a question. Could it's you okay go then. back or you have to, there's it has like to be a, like It's that. like the GMAT. Like, there's a certain amount of time that oh, it lasts for. So I have to start over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or oh, whatever. It's With fine. the GMAT? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, or were you taking it? Yes. I took uh, it. I was going to go to business. We're both so strange. I have oh, such, wait, like, checkered. The, the actual GMAT? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You meant, like, UCB GMAT. You yeah. I did. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> what? What's a GMAT? I still- <laughs> the GMAT's the school to get into, or the test to get into business school, but they oh. are accepting the GRE now, so. Well, you are also smart. <laughs> and you started a business. I did start a business. What's it's your business? Really, it was, um, it was I, an amazing idea, actually. Okay. This is very, I haven't talked about this in a long time, and it's funny because one of my friends was like, we need to resuscitate yes, the tuck. Yes, so great. So okay. the tuck was an expand, or is an expandable leather, you can still buy it online, an expandable <laughs> leather belt loop. Uh, so okay. you can just put on like a belt and it's like too floppy and long or whatever instead of getting it shortened or like tucking it in or whatever you just like put this loop on it like and it blends in wait wait yeah, wait, wait. Awesome. I'm confused okay you know how you're when you're wearing a belt sometimes picture like you don't never wear, wear belts oh okay because I'm sloppy because you're so, sloppy uh, mess. Uh, probably yeah, sometimes but, but also that guys. thing my sister and I always talk about like bringing it back but we're like that no, I'm has belt. become kind of trendy Right, like the skater hang. But for men, it's nice. Oh, for men so that you, fluctuate you in weight, in the belt. It's seriously got it. so good. Yeah. And you wrote a commercial that was funny for it. Yeah, so that's how we got reconnected. Right. Because I was like, I need to like round up all my hilarious people. Right. And we um, need to do. And we need to make a commercial because I I launched it on Kickstarter to like raise money. Okay. And Courtney was one of the people, so we stayed in touch it that was way. Awesome. And I was yeah. Like, oh, she's like doing things. Yeah. Fun. And oh my god, I, I forgot either. that we oh, did wait, that together. Maybe you had already broken up with the guy. No, so I wait. broke up with him at the end of my Kickstarter campaign, like exactly oh, that week. We're getting a lot of messages. Was it your decision? You Ooh, told fun. me about this. Yes, it was like my decision. Yeah. yeah. I, was like, oh, yeah. I had been deciding on it for a long time, uh, and it, it always feels bad to me because I'm like, oh my god, I was right at the end of the campaign, but it was also before we we're supposed to go on a vacation together. And I was like, listen, take your mom, take your sister or something. But, like, it's just going to make us closer, and I'm ready to go now. I love him, though, still. We're still friends. Oh, really good. Yeah. His sister works for my dad. Like, we're, oh. yeah. I wonder <laughs> if the guy I was dating was dating anyone. I'd be like, I no. don't think he is. I, I, I survey his social media, and it's a lot of golfing. I would know. It's a lot of golfing. <laughs> a lot of cowboy hats, golfing. Are you guys? Really um, standard stuff. <laughs> He's cute. Like he's cute so you dated okay, two so friends i'm caught up two friends one second yes. that's yeah. it that's it. okay, okay got so it. then she's really drinking the tequila right? she's like i oh, know so you dated two okay. i was like i'm <laughs> giving me nervous vibes i was like you cannot bring this into the room what she me gives oh anxiety. okay i don't really we get so much anxiety like, but I, I gotta go do my pre stand up oh ritual, that yeah where she sits in a corner and holds her crystals wait it's funny that oh you my said God. this i did my first I rose battle that. last night <gasps> how was that by the way that was amazing i was terrified at first and then my opponent started like pacing like and like kind of like doing jumping jacks and like getting prepped and, I, and like, like oh, oh, oh. and i was like oh my god i'm gonna ruin you oh my god <laughs> yeah and then it was unanimous was it at the it's stand so awesome. yeah i think i just pulled my back out Did you guys you that was instant karma oh my god that was so wait, bad wait was it at the stand yeah oh my god that's yeah. awesome i yeah. love that so who was, was a guy could you, you say who it was or you can't say yeah yeah mark stevens i beat him sorry buddy 
You're done. He you, you are awesome to invite me, though, because he was he really Maybe he should have done one more jumping jack with a one. Right? No, I was like, I think he's out of breath. You know what the show, like, roast battle or whatever? Yeah. Wait. Is it filmed? Is that the same one? Yeah, no, they filmed I, it. Oh. I mean, no, no, no. This isn't the no, one no, that's no, going to no, be on Comedy Central. This is like Jack the YouTube channel. Wait, wait, oh, still, that's great. You should be on the one also on that. We'll see. Wait. I've just done my first roast. We'll oh see. God. How was that? Do you get scared? It was, like, you... I was so scared at first. Then I seen him do the Dungeon Jacks. I was like, this is going to be cake. And then it was cake. <laughs> and then I got off and I was driving my boyfriend and all of uh, his roommates and like the, some guys that are staying with us home because okay. he lives in Jersey. And I was like, you guys, I feel like fucking high. <laughs> like, I was like, whoa. Like, I shouldn't be motor. Like, I shouldn't be operating this vehicle. Right, like, high. this is such it's a natural. Right, yeah. yeah. It was crazy. That's it was really awesome. great. Did they go? Did they watch you? Who? Wait, does Ben do roast battle? No. He, he doesn't like to be mean. Really? So what yeah, was the meanest thing they said to you you don't want to say? The meanest thing he said to me? Yeah. Honestly, my favorite joke of his was Remy was voted in high school most likely to make somebody else's rape about her. <laughs> I love that good joke. joke. I thought that was really funny. I think your jokes on Facebook are the funniest ever. Thank you. Like, there's no I need to follow. Yeah, yeah I need to I follow you on like, Facebook. You, you're like extremely unique and creative. Uh, thank you. And like, they're stuff that most girls don't want to talk about. Well, yeah, I I feel like that's like a common theme in my life. Like it's so strange because five years ago, my sister and I had a conversation where we were like, we should start like an anonymous Instagram or right. Twitter where we say really gross shit that girls are thinking, right. like, and just yes. like you know, like talk about like ingrown hairs and like fucking right. popping. Right. Oh my god, stuff. Right. we talk about ingrown hairs. Fuck yes, every day of my life. Right. But no, it's so, and I always every time I have okay. sex, I have major guilt. So I always, Why? I don't. Because I'm Orthodox Jew. Oh, oh my so, God. I just had a Judaism a episode. It's coming out this Sunday. Really? Yes. I'm so excited. So I always think in Ingrown, I'm like, I have herpes. I have syphilis. I'm oh dying God. for sure. No, you're and, not dying. And, um, See, Ingrowns are a joy and they're like, to me. No, you're fine. Oh, I mean, even the best. I, they're just so Why disgusting though? and terrible. But then the second that you like... Ooh. It, it's a release. It's a release. I, I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I don't think it ever got released. Well, it, maybe you have the ones that burrow down real deep. Guys, I'm really scared. <laughs> they're the best. And like go into like a not. Oh my god, they're the best. I've pulled out one that was like three inches before. No. And I'm like, you're in my, oh my body. God, I know. Yeah. Uh, and her dad is a dermatologist. Oh. Her skin looks like this. Okay. Oh. If you could give us, give us blowing up my tips. comedy spot. What do you wash your wash your face with? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Nothing. I don't do anything. Why? I, do, I took Accutane as a teen. Me too, I took Accutane. Really? It's the best. Yeah, so, so I don't, don't get many zits. Uh, I don't really wash my face, no. I don't really do anything. Do so you put lotion? I'm disgusting. We just, I, I yeah, just recorded. Yeah, she just said I have my makeup on from last night. Oh, yeah. I really don't like her. No, you love me. No, I really like her. <laughs> oh my God. I just That's how my sister is. She doesn't wash her face and she doesn't get pimples. Yeah, it's like I it's think, dirty girl privilege. Yes. It's like we started this way and we like, never like right, we're just, not right. yeah. I think the more the you put the more, the more you, maintenance right. you need and yeah. yeah, right. Your body responds to that. Yeah, and just don't do anything. D like don't wear makeup either. Right. Really? Mm hmm Yeah. Well because you can't go back now. No. You can, you can always go back, but it's like not great for your skin. No. no <gasps> That's why I'm always breaking out. But I'm not saying like, oh, I don't wear makeup because it's bad for your skin. Like, no. I'm a lazy, dirty right. bitch. Like, this is just happenstance. How Sorry, old are you, though? Comedian. I'm 28. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we talk but about I'm... our podcast, please? Yes. yes. Uh, Other ways. gross, I mean, not gross, but no, things that people it. aren't down to talk about most of the time. Wait, but... first off, how did you think I want to do a podcast? Were you like, oh, I can't do this by myself? Because you do it by yourself. Masturbate? No, no, no. The, the podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I do it by I do it by myself. I do the podcast like oh, I. Like oh, you do do it by like, yourself. I do a podcast on. How did you think I want to do a podcast? So I wanted to do a podcast about death initially because. <laughs> I've okay. been thinking about like the end of the world a lot, um, <laughs> and then I was like, "Well, that's really downery, and I don't think the world really needs that." And then I was trying I to feel think. Like people like death. I mean, people love death. It's right. fair. It's we all no, do it. We all do it. We all do it. Um, we all masturbate and die. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then I was like, "Yeah, that's. I, I don't know if I want to talk about death every week." 
but then I, I had like a real issue in my relationships and like my relationship with myself that I was like always like really sexually frustrated and really pissed at the guys I was dating because I would like my libido would be like so much higher and I'd be like I'm not right. coming what's going on oh. and then I realized my little sister one day was saying how like she's like yeah it's hard for me to come with a guy but like I can do it when I'm masturbating and I was like wait you have orgasms and she was like yeah and I was like all right that's not cool because somebody told yeah. me that like like oh if it's not happening like you'll just like it'll happen when you're 30 and my sister was like, well, wait a second. She's like, that's like trying to run a marathon but not training until you're 30. Right. You know? And right. I was like, oh, that's... Wait, but we're... I was trying, but I wasn't trying everything. And I think that the dialogue isn't really out there ex unless, like, you pay for OMG Yes, which is, like, um, Hermione Granger's website. I heard What's about that. Uh, Emma yeah. Watson. That? Yeah, I heard she's, about that. she's not her website, but she's, like, a very, very big yeah. uh, spokesperson for it. I've not been on it, but you have to pay for it. And it's, like, the only really place for, like, an open forum of conversation of, like, this is technically how you masturbate. Like, this is... You know, How, no one talks about right, it. Right. No one talks about moment. it. And but we're taught to, like, have intercourse in health class. Yeah. Like, this is how you have a baby. But guess what? I'm going to lay some stats on right. you. 77% of women need clitoral stimulation in order to have an orgasm. And do you know what isn't happening when you're making a baby? Right. You're not touching any, yeah, like, Yeah, but should I tell you? What about the ring? <laughs> I, do, do you yeah. like those? You, no, when the guy puts it on his thing. Oh, I understand what you're talking about. Because uh, <laughs> <I'm laughs> the one that Because I didn't know what that was until like recently. Oh, so yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I mean I'm learning a lot too. Wait. But. Okay. So the backstory is she didn't have an orgasm. Right. For ever. my life. Yeah. And then, um, but then with your boyfriends, were you thinking you are in, like enjoying it, but you weren't? Yeah, I love. So that's why I was like, I am the one that needs to do this podcast because I love sex. I've always, and I've always been like such like a little perv since I was right. a kid. Like I've been like You're experimenting like and person. doing every like thing, and like just like so confused because I was like, what's going on? Right. Like, why aren't I experiencing this thing that, like, everyone else is? And, well, you like, were like, maybe I am, and I just... It's yeah, like, that was... You that was no, well, that's, that's what, the thing. what my ex said, is right. he was like, maybe you're just doing it so much that you don't even notice it. And I was no. like, well, that really lets you off the hook, doesn't it, buddy? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, like, everyone else was like, when you know, you know. And I was like, what right. a cop-out thing to say. But it really is true. Like, you know So when was happening. the first time? So it happened Recently, on episode. She did a podcast on it. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Well, so the whole podcast is like my journey, essentially, okay. and I'd have a guest on every week, and um, I'd interview them about their first time or whatever, and then I'm like, okay, cool. Do you have an assignment for me? And then they'd give me an assignment, and then following those assignments, and then outside. Assignments oh, you'll do meaning because a lot of people like once one. I said like I don't come, people were like, okay. oh, holy shit, me too, or really? like really? yeah, really? oh yeah. There's a lot of people who aren't coming. So many fucking people. Like I got fan mail. I think mostly day women? two. Really? Yeah. From wow. somebody in Michigan. And she's 22 and she's like, I'm a super sexual person and like, it's not happening for me. Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I felt the same way until I was like 21, maybe. Right. Or something. When did you start banging? Yeah, but 21. Way before. And I was how, like, oh, maybe the same thing. I was like, how oh, old were you? I'm, um, just she's not just like. No, I'm saying when, when you great. started having sex. Oh, like 17 or 18, oh, 16, okay. maybe? Yeah, 16 yeah. for me, too. And then I was like, oh, it's just not that great to come. No, but then it is. And then, you do, and, then I, do you and do you know what's so cool about it? So the way that it happened for me, I, I don't know if I want to like yeah, blow fine. my load with it, but um, <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. There's, there's like 12. You guys people. don't care. Um, oh, no, do? you do actually. This is a hot oh, tip. So oh, the way that it happened was this thing called the womanizer, which is a clitoral oh, yeah. suction device. Um, and it rocks and I love it um and that's a trick when guys going down on you to that's suck what they on need it to do yeah and most guys don't know that tip of the week did what you know that? that the clitoris <laughs> is made out of the same embryonic tissue as the penis and there's 8,000 nerve endings it's something like that that study's actually about sheep but yeah stop it I swear yeah because I have a trivia question for yeah us. uh oh no um <laughs> But yeah, so now, like, I feel like... Oh, so the Wonder... What's womanizer. The womanizer. Terrible womanizer. name. That's, yeah. That's who should be sponsoring yeah. the show, by the way. They, we're... 
We're talking. Oh, We're yeah. talking. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I. So that's what suctions. Mm-hmm. And that's what made you come. Yeah. Wow. And continues to do so. We really need to. I don't you're, get. You're definitely helping the world with this. I know. It's so great. I can't believe you got. It's way better than talking about girls. death. Well, younger girls, especially when you don't know what you're doing. I mean, no girl yeah. knows what it feels like. I was, I was so fingering was myself for the longest time. Like, why right. isn't anything right. happening? Why does this feel good? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Right. That first of all, that feels weird. But also, like, you don't like to feel the inside of your body. That's like, it's gross. I don't. Yeah, know. some I people agree. do. Some people I agree. Like, but yeah, no. Ugh. Uh, yeah, and girls didn't talk about it, and... But now, can you come with your boyfriend? Um, do you have only clitoral, or... Can I say this on camera? So, all all <laughs> like orgasms regular? actually are... Well, not Wait, all. that's what I told not my husband. All. But the way that it's shaped, and I, I'm going to have a very impossible time explaining this, but it looks like this, okay? And then this is the hood, all right, so if we're looking at a 3D image, and then it's got two wings like this, and it's on the inside of you. So it, any vaginal orgasms, actually those little wings on the outside, it means those are a little closer to your body. It's, it's all how your body is structured, but literally the clit is like present in your whole vag. Oh, so even when you have a vaginal orgasm, it's a clitoral it's a clitoral, orgasm. Yeah, but it's just from the inside. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, just got that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. And so, and I was just gonna say, then the clitoris is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the. Smart. It's like huge. It's inside you. Right. Though. It's like four inches or something. It's crazy. Yeah. Trivia. How fun. Okay, Interesting. So, I feel um, like I've become a scientist. So now, are you liking sex a lot more? Do you want to have more sex, even though? I always no no. I always want to bang. Oh wow. Always. No, if you ever become single. Yeah, no. It's actually, no, but it's been a, like a problem. Does your problem. boyfriend like to bang as much? Uh, so, he, he's, not, he's not as much of an initiator, but like if I, so what's been fun is that like I have this thing that I can do by myself. So sometimes I'll just sit next right. to him and begin and like it doesn't even matter and he'll like hold my hand or something like, That's so we get saying. to like still be together, we'll like kiss and like, and then he'll like get involved usually because he's all right. horned up probably. But um, so I know you That's did for like, me? Exper- yeah, it's for you. God, I have a whole you were doing one. experiments to try to have an orgasm on the podcast that people would give you assignments. So one yes. of them was like go to um, a sex party. Yeah. Can you please tell us what that's like? Because I'm really curious. So yeah, <laughs> sex parties had been talked about like a lot on the podcast and I was like, Am I like a fucking loser for like not having been to one of these yet? Like it seems like it's like the thing. Um, And so I was expecting like, like everybody in like whips and chains and shit. And it was like not like that at all. It was actually really great. Um, I was hired by the sex party too. So sex parties, it's not like you show up and it's just people like naked everywhere fucking. It's really more uh, a socializing Thing. So they'll have performances or like lectures or something that becomes like a jumping off point for conversation for them people to talk about. And like they, the dress code is black. So there was like a real like team feeling in it, you know, like and people are like really fucking chic. And the sex party I went to was sponsored by NSFW, which is the new center or new society for wellness. Oh, I thought it was not safe for work. I know. Work. Yeah, but they just trump them on Google for SEO. Shut up. Yeah. Um, but um, wait, what does it stand for? New Society for Wellness. As and in for sexual wellness. Yeah, sexual wellness. Oh, wow. um, they do a lot of work with um, like sexual healing, uh, like counseling, um, parties, like. Oh, yeah. But it's like also like Raya for sex parties is what oh, I have described like it as. That's like the high end. It's like Tinder. yeah, yeah. Like you have to be like kind of vetted to get right. in. And oh, I like that. I would go to that sex. So party. yeah, so I was actually hired to be um, after I interviewed the people on, uh, who started it on my podcast. They were like, "Well, you do comedy and like whatever. Like, do you want to do this show? Um, uh, that's part of a sex party." So it was like five comics that I'm very good friends with who all have other sexual-ish podcasts or whatever. And we performed for everyone. And then 
everyone like socialize afterwards. There are pillows everywhere, so and it kind of was what? like a like That's a high so school. Intimate. Yeah, it was great. But then it was like kind of like a high school party in that like people were just like chatting, and then you'd like see people making out and like right, right, right. And then there was um, like they have. Uh, master doms and dominatrixes right, right, who like right, right, right. Kn- who work within it that like know how to um, utilize enthusiastic consent and like enforce that and like they know how to use all like the paddles and the fucking whips and shit. Oh, wait, you need to go to this. Yeah. I'm so confused. Okay. Are you confused. She's yeah. too drunk. I'm not <laughs> drunk. I'm just drunk. like mind blown right now. Yeah. Everything's very like, like whoa. Jealous. Of you well, I didn't do anything there. Stuff. Oh, okay. No, I, Wait, I, I, I told him, I was like, I just want to go to observe for the podcast and to, like, watch people fuck. I think that right. would be interesting. Like, yeah. I've never seen that in the flesh. Right. So people were having sex. he was like, sex that's... Yeah, I feel like no, we, I didn't, like I didn't that. stay for long enough that I w- witnessed actual fucking because I had to leave yeah, for right. a birthday party. We are going yeah. to have a magician on. Very yes, we are. Are you bored? That, that, no, not at all. But I'm so just so sure like... Um, represent the men in the show because we don't have any men saying, but don't okay, worry, but, he'll give us his opinion on masturbation. <laughs> have we said anything anti-men? No. Not That's at right. all. Like, what are you talking so. about? Write in again, please. I'm curious. Wait, do you, are you on Sundays at the stand? I am. Oh, you have a, you have a fan here. Oh, really? There, Ferris McFly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have a fan. Man. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's called Bacon Bits. What? Oh, my show, Sundays Wait, at the Stand? Is that what it's called? It's called Bacon Bits, yeah. But there's no... Yes, there's actually bacon. There is Maybe. bacon. Free bacon. And you host it. And I host it. Obviously. Yeah. Have you ever masturbated in public on your comedy show? Wait, can you... T- <laughs> what? Have you ever... Have you ever She's talked not about a porn. That was such a strange <laughs> segue. <laughs> What the fuck was that, Courtney? Can you talk about it? <laughs> Have you? Have I masturbated <laughs> in public on my... No. I'm not, oh. No. I was like, she's not a porn star. No. I'm not... No. Not that that's bad. I mean, that's not funny. Like, that would be... That, it'd be really entertaining, though. To, yeah. To watch her masturbate? Feel, that'd be awful. I feel my brand is much more the every woman... Yeah. Like just trying she's more to get of a like comfortable. She's more of the science and, and part of it, I'm right? Not very science now. Did you ever porn when you were trying to come? Like no, I I wasn't it into do it. it for you. Uh, I like used to watch porn like a really like sci- not scientific way, but just like really like critical way that I just feel like That's what I do. that acting sucks. That's what I do. And like yeah. And I'm like, try to watch only ugly women because it makes me feel better about myself. Really? Whoa, I like okay. it when they're fat, and I'm like, oh, oh well, this man. Girl is a porn star. So. <laughs> oh my or, God. Or like the mature, the older. You like that stepmom porn? Yeah, because like, what, your 18 year old porn star, do I really want to be watching you? I'm the opposite of what guys like to watch mm. in porn. You're the opposite? No, that's what I like. Oh, you like she doesn't watch. like to okay. watch. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you... I like blonde girls in porn. Because you're narcissistic. So you're like, right, I'm like... I right. imagine myself as them. Yeah. Did you know, my boyfriend was just telling me about this, that there uh, is this new thing in porn where this face swap people... So they'll have, like, porn star, but then you've got, like, Gal Gadot just, like, getting fucked. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I still don't understand the face, app, face swap app. I'm really bad at Snapchat. I think it's a little better technology yeah. than the app. But well, they do also. But the, I, I do the face swaps on Snapchat, and they're pretty accurate. Okay. You're really good at Snapchat. I don't do. Okay. I used to do, do it Snapchat. Anymore. Yeah. Um, he says you've got to stop hate. Oh, little blue Mega Man. He's a. He's been following us. For yeah, some I time. love little blue. We don't. I, we, I think he's like 11. Is what he? did he say? He said you've got to stop hating on men. I don't hate on what men. What did we say about men? I <laughs> fuck my fine. boyfriend constantly. Well, no, I mean, that. no. I'm, first of all, no, I'll say this. It's not men. It's society and how, like, they created this idea of men and, like, right. like, people, when they're having sex, it shouldn't be like, you're the dude and I'm the woman, so right. you should know more, you should like this more. It's like, let's both try to make each other happy. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I think that girls should come first and then guys should come. Well, well, that's there's actually 
a, a thing uh, that my friend Betsy brought up. Yeah. And that is like about tantric sex. Okay. Um, and it says that guys should wait until the woman's done. Yes. Because we can usually do it like way, way, way more times. And once a guy's done, he's fucking done. Like we're energized. I know. After we it's very selfish. Men cannot have multiple orgasms? Nope. No. I mean, but if they wait two. like Some 40 guy, minutes. I was with a guy with like seven. I was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> Why? Yeah, then, and then he was like, I want you to shave my asshole afterwards. And I was yo. like, this is the wrong relationship for me. Ooh, what? <laughs> it was horrible. Did you see? Uh, it was horrible. He was a musician. Oh my God. The whole thing. It was a, it was a very... studio apartment. The whole thing was a studio long. apartment. Why can't he shave his own <laughs> asshole? He's like, I can't reach down there. I was like, you oh why did get it, it for him? And then I felt really bad. And I was like, what if he really needs someone to shave this? And I'm. You, no, Courtney. <laughs> was he setting you up for rimming? That sounds like what it was. Oh my God. He was probably on going to. I would too. never. Did you ever do that? Mm -mm. Did you? For sure. I feel like they'd have to. I feel like they'd have to wax their asshole for sure. You know. Um, and I just had this woman on my pod. It's an episode that's coming out in a bit. But she invented this underpants called laurels. And they're made mm -hmm. out of latex. So you can give people oral. And I was like, oh, oh you could also rim a dude. Oh, my God. And then you won't get it like an STD. Underpants? Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like for men? For women. But um, but oh, we but were saying if we put it on a dude, you can eat his butt right. and like not be so gross. Right. Yeah. Me and Courtney blew the same guy. <laughs> Eskimo sisters. <laughs> we did not. Um, I mean, at the same time, how to log on to the internet. So I never. By the way, Listen, you know how you're rare that is. Because I never did that in my. I, I think I did it like four times in my life. Really? Yeah. This guy is very aggressive. I'm very selfish in bed. I think. Wait, probably. you only. Give yeah, a blowjob four times. Wait. Oh yeah. I yeah, I don't give a lot of blowjobs. That's but also, I had an older boyfriend. For, okay. She was married. Because I was married. Okay. So I probably well, gave. Why haven't we talked about this yet? Okay. Oh, but. And also, yeah, I was married to an Orthodox Jew, which is weird because I don't. And we don't know anything about sex. Okay. So I never had an orgasm with my ex husband. And also, he's the only person I had sex what? with. Isn't it supposed to be a mitzvah for the man to fuck the woman when she wants? And a double mitzvah to do it on Shabbat? Yes, but it doesn't mean that the girl has to come. <laughs> she's Jewish. What? There's two and a half Jews here. Yeah. It doesn't mean that no, the girl no, no. has to it, whatever. Okay. Yeah, you are in it, the actually. fucking Talmud. Ivanka Trump. Told I know, me. but it's, <laughs> what? Ivanka Trump told me. I'll told tell you, you why. Well, no, it's they because like, oh, they celebrate sex. He's yeah. not religious. And your I was. He wasn't. Fuck. Well, now he's gone. Yeah. Good. Goodbye. So, Good riddance. And Fuck you, I, you, stupid. And then I like became re virginized because I had to move back home and, you know, yeah. religious again. Yeah. And then I had this boyfriend, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had this boyfriend who, and I don't know, he, he like, did something to me, and I was like, what the fuck is it? Oh, am I allowed to say fuck? This is my what? show. Totally. It I was like, up. what is this? Yeah. And I fell in love. Because, <laughs> you know, but we, yeah. I never had sex with him. We only did, like, because I was like, I can't have sex till marriage. And he's like, you're mad. You were mad. But it was rules. <laughs> but we did the other stuff. And so like, you came that way? Yeah. Is that the first time you came? Yeah. I was like, oh, whoa. And then I didn't want to break up with him because I was like, I yeah. love this. Yeah. But then we broke up because, I don't know, very How sad. How have you gotten out of, like, the system? The, yeah. Oh, so then I have this non-Jewish boyfriend who is way older than me. Mm -hmm. And he... I felt, whatever, I guess when you're with an older guy, they're all about, like, pleasing, like, the girl. You know, I feel like Sometimes, I'm slurring. If right. they're but, mature, and it's usually right. somebody who's matured and, and then, like, oh, I'm in a relationship with somebody that I should care about their pleasure, too. Right, so he would always make Isn't me... Isn't that funny how that works? Yeah. Yeah. So he would always, like, pleasure me first, and mm -hmm. then he would come. Mm. And so I got very used yeah. to that. And that's not being like, oh, ladies have to come first. It's like just science. Guys right. will go to sleep after. We'll right. get more energized and be like, 
Let's go. Like, we'll right. suck your fucking dick if you make us come as much as we can. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So then, right? I, don't we'll know. Your I don't know. I don't know if I yeah. would. <laughs> But we'll if shake, they don't, we'll I think, shake somebody's butt. If we were close fine. enough and it was funny. This was a first date. Oh, oh that's my God. Crazy. Courtney, what? First date? <laughs> that's <I'm> not wild. <laughs> Get him fucking jailed, honestly. Like, that just I means know. he doesn't even have, like, the. Like, he was how really was he looking, the, so I think he was like. Is he oh, the guy I'll from Hoboken? Mm. No. The she dated from someone from Hoboken. Oh. Right, he lived with his mom. Oh, <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> I live with my grandma though, so that's I like. Love that, oh, you yeah. do? And she takes such good care of you. That yeah, is nice. Yeah, we take care of each cat. other. Yeah. Did you have one cat? Or Wait, you have a cat? One. I have one cat. Yeah. I'm scared of cats. I love it so much. I know. I love her. She's so cute. She often <laughs> walks in during the podcast, and we're like, "Hello, <gasps> hi, man." Oh my god, that's Wait, so there was funny. A point on your, like, Did she Instagram where you're like, should I tell my grandma that I have, have a cat? my cat? Because yeah. I was she... living with her, but she didn't know. This was oh, a very exciting Instagram week for me. Uh, like people were like watching the story with bated breath. Yeah, no, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, my grandmother like got some theory that like the cat she was allergic to her. Okay. So I like sent her to my parents' house for a while and then You sent the cat? Yeah. Oh, I thought you sent your grandma. I sent my grandmother and I was like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> It's like she's such a good grandma. Right? Yeah. I was like, you should walk her on out of here. Um, no, so I put the cat with my parents for like six months or something. Oh, right. Okay. Like a long time. Yeah. And then eventually I was like, it's time. I miss my cat. I miss my like, cat. Yes. It's time. <laughs> She's, I had asked her, I was like, can we bring her back and like, you know, test the water? She said, no. And I was like, fuck you. I'm just going to do this. And you hit So I, I sneaked her in. <gasps> I snuck her in. Yeah. And then, and I like did I'll all these like weird out. things to like, like I couldn't put her food in the fridge, but yeah. I, oh, it was winter. It was winter. So I put it on the windowsill in my bathroom oh my and I kept my room really cold. Um, so yeah, it was like this thing of like, will nanny discover the right, cat? Right. And then, yeah, eventually she, but, my cousin, and what she do when no, she my cousin out. went into the room thing to try to say hi to me. Yeah. And then he saw the cat and he was like, Oh, Hey kitty. And then she went, oh my and he goes running and he was like, ah, the cat. And they were like, what cat? Oh, yeah. But did she let you keep her? I wouldn't. Answer. Yeah, because then I was like, have you sneezed this entire right, two weeks? Fine. No. That was the whole, yeah, it was like a placebo effect. That's what happened to my husband. Some people like, hate cats. Yeah. I think her like, thing is know? like, do you I hate, hate them? I hate them so much. They scare me. Do you like any animals? I like dogs. She's not. Yeah. I warmed up to well, your she's dog. Warmed up. She doesn't love dogs. No, I don't <laughs> do hate like cats. cats. I love kids. Okay, well then that's When the I thing. see a cat, if there's a cat there, I shake. Oh, it no. scares me. Oh, you probably have like a thing with cats. I think, you know, I'll tell you what it is. Yeah. We, we have cats outside like our Brooklyn house. And uh -huh. every time there was a cat, my mother would yell at it to go away. So we like have this fear. Are you guys it's Israeli me and at my all? sister. No. No? Israeli Syrian hate. Jews. Okay. Yeah. So we have this thing that like cats are scary. Mm. I would just like my to My sister say goes to therapy for it. Go. Hello to Courtney Fan, oh. who I think is my friend. <laughs> Hi, Courtney fan. Can everyone make us a fan? <laughs> okay, that's right. Um, we all have a fan. Okay, so what's about to happen now? Because we have to bring oh, on a yeah. guy's version. To a we're going to ask a man. Wait, shake your earrings. <laughs> I made these, by the way. You know. Did you? Uh, I have a jewelry. Did you? Business. Oh my god, they're Courtney. amazing! I really like them. Thank you. Yeah. I'll make you a fan. Oh my god, do it. That's so much fun. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. Guys, I never wash my hair. Job. I need statement earrings to distract okay. from all that. Yes! Yeah. That can be your makeup hair. Yeah. <laughs> makeup. Okay, oh. we're going to ask this super famous celebrity musician. Who looks Devante, like they want to pee? Yeah, yeah I want to know. Waiting in right? Our apartment. Yeah. Uh, like, he has a lot of stuff to do, and he's here with us, which is okay. amazing. Um, so we're going to... We're going to ask him his opinion on orgasms, and then he's going to do some magic for us. Yay! Love it. So, Devante... Please join us. Oh, we're going, we're going, going there. Okay, we've got to take Wait, this Wait, all of the drinks. All right, I'll go this way. This is exciting. Hello. Yeah, hi. I they can hear me. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you for being hi. here. Oh, wait, yes. do you have a mic? Do you need uh, one? I don't think I have a mic. I think oh, I thank you for stop. being here. Yeah, can I? Yeah. Can you, can you hear him? Oh. Can everyone hear him? Oh. 
Um, where are you from? Uh, Brooklyn. You, you, Somebody was just talking about Brooklyn. Me. Yeah. Flapper. Exactly. Yeah. Bushwick. Bushwick? Yeah, but the old Bushwick, not unfortunately the new Okay, so how did you get into magic? How did I get into magic? Uh, <laughs> I got tricked into it. That's a good one. We need a chair. Uh, yeah. Yeah. With the so were you one of those little kids who had like the kit and you always Bop. liked it? Or you were like a real yeah. one who was like, oh, I'm going to do this for Okay. Me. Here's the thing, as soon as I do magic, a lot of people would be like, oh man, I'd be like cheating in the casinos, I'd be getting, you know, getting away with stuff, basically. That's exactly what I, that's how I started, just getting away with stuff, doing stuff oh, that I shouldn't have like been an doing. actual magician yeah, in life. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, so like you were saying, like, ma so there, like, there's people that try to convince you, like, you know, like, magic is real, like, I, there's an art to it, and so I became a magician in the sense of, like, I learned the good art of magic, because I was making people's money disappear before, but... <laughs> It wasn't the same magic. <laughs> I like that. So, yeah, did, so, did you have magic with girls? Um, you know, it's funny. I always thought magic was corny. I mean, this is just corny. growing up. Yeah, growing up in Bushwick, I mean, the last thing you want to be known as is the it's magician. It's definitely not hood. You know what I mean? And so, no, yeah, it's just it's like, not hood. yo, what are you like? What are you, a clown or something? So definitely didn't want to, you know, my, my funny, my clown. Wait, you definitely guys, don't want to be. I feel like he's very uncomfortable. Should we all sit or no? No, no okay. she's not. I'm comfortable. You're comfortable. I like We're to not, but we're, we're okay. No, no, no. No, 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 but uh, so yeah, got it, got into magic in Brooklyn, got doing it the right way when I hit 16. I did Showtime at the Apollo. Oh, what? Yeah, at cool. 16? At 16, and I went That's up with awesome. like baggy clothes and looking like a, you know, probably look hood now, but definitely this is not <laughs> like, like 10, style. like 10, exactly. Like, so you 15, know, this is when, this is. 2017. But we, well, we do, had to put on the night. Yeah, we had to go brand we new. We do for you guys. have a question. What's Can you right? make a girl come with your brain? Absolutely. What? What? Yeah. Of course. Because <laughs> he's a magician. That. Could you make us all yeah, come you right now? Um, what's it called? What's mentalism? Mm -hmm. Is that? We're gonna do that today. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a little bit of that. Well, do you have a magician? Yes. Actually, actually, I was at a, I was at a party. I, I was at a party, him. and uh, I don't know. I was doing magic, and then he saw me doing magic. He's like, "Yo, I do magic. I do magic." And then he saw me do magic. He's like, "But I'm more into food." He's like, "I like magic, but shit, what you're oh, doing?" He's like, oh "Yeah." So yeah. Like, yeah. You guys do a magic off on a show of mine. That would be we can do so it. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Love it. I'd Amazing. love it. Okay, I'm let's down. talk orgasms. Yeah. Talk to me. And we do it to all three of us now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, it's happening. Uh, you, you got it. You got the, What was the kid's name? The 11 year old that's watching. What's his name? Yeah, Blue Mega Man. Little Blue Mega <laughs> That's what we think. Blue that's what we think. And you're about to stain your pants. You're about to learn. So, they taught you what to do physically. You, you gave them the, the, the whole science of. Yeah. Now I'm gonna just get into a little bit of here. Can, can you actually help me out? You'll, you'll hold on Is to this. Is it cheating if a mentalist gives you an orgasm? No, 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 no. Let, let, me, let me try Are something. you really gonna make us calm? Uh, we'll see. Okay. So here, instead of me doing this like old card trick, like, a, you know, like pick a card, I'm gonna find it. Do me a favor, show it to them. Touch a card, touch it, but let them see it. I can see it, I'm not, I'm not gonna do like a corny, uh, I'm gonna find your card, two, two of diamonds. Yes. Let's okay. do something special with the two of diamonds. I have a marker here. Do me a favor. You're gonna write me, them, maybe the, what's his name again? The, the blue, blue Mega Man. Blue, blue Mega Man. Little Blue. Blue. Yeah. Little Blue? We'll call him Little, little blue. blue. You're gonna write a little message for Little Blue okay. right there. And so this is a sign, now, now you just picked a random card, two of diamonds, and now you're signing it. This okay. is the first, what does it say? I love you. Oh, Little Blue Man, we got love oh. for you. So check this out, two of diamonds, I'm gonna try this, for, oh, as a matter of fact, do this. Can I put something in your mouth? Yeah! <laughs> it's okay? Yeah. She's married. Look, two of diamonds, and it's something you, 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 you'll recognize. Look, look, two of diamonds, hold on to the cards for me. The whole day, the entire deck. Watch this, I'm gonna fold the two of diamonds, you're gonna bite onto it, but don't worry, because I'm gonna do the same exact thing in a second. Perfect. Now look, I'll grab a random card, let's uh, say this one, Jack of Diamonds, here. I'll do the same, I'll sign, uh, whatever, I'll sign my name, Devante. Check this out. Devante, and you hold on to this, you can cap that. Can the camera see it? I'm not sure, yeah? So check this out, my card, in my, and I'll put these away. My card will obviously go here, look. Hmm? We're gonna get really close, but no touching. She said to the mind, no touching. Get really close, no touching. Right there, look, 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 look. Don't move. Just watch. 
No, I don't have that happen. That'd be crazy if you have mine. <gasps> but how? Ah! Crazy. Amazing. Crazy. But that's just uh, getting that warmed up. I just wanted to see how far, how far, how far you would go. Let me try something. Um, let me try with somebody's phone. Who has a phone on them? I do. And we can, we can, we can come off the uh, the streaming. Oh. Uh, yeah. Which one? I guess mine here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And open up your calculator, actually. Now I'm gonna need two people to help me with this. Uh, would you girls help me? Oh yeah. sure. And is it is your phone? Uh, does it? Yeah. What is this called? Uh, landscape or? Yeah. No, no, I know it's a, I know it's a calculator, but basically calculator. What I, basically, what we want to do is this. Uh, here, hold it like I want to hold it like. Oh, this. does it lock? Yeah, yeah, I don't want it to lock. Oh, here. I don't. I'll, I'll I could lock up. it for Let you if see. you want. Oh, oh here, be... you pull up. I I could no, lock. No, no, I think it. It, no, no, don't don't lock. Don't it. lock. Yeah, so you can have everyone. a big knife. Oh, so it's fine. This is pure like this is your phone, yes. Yes. Hold it. Uh, yeah, you can hold it like this. This way, you can see the entire number. Okay. Do this for me. Uh, hold it to yourself. Like that. So that I can't see what you're writing. Oh, okay. And. It's never appropriate to ask somebody their age, but do me a favor. Multiple. I'm not going to ask you your age. That's okay. why you have the calculator. I already And you don't have to say this out loud. <laughs> okay. You're 28, yes? Mm. We're here. All right. Do this for me. Multiply the year you were born times the month you were born. Oh, then you have to no, 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 no. You know what? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Forget yeah, yeah. about the math. Forget about the no, math. No, you know no, I can multiply yeah. it right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. This is interesting. And don't the even year hit I equals. Was born yeah. times the month. Times a month, and then hit multiply again, give her the phone. We're gonna do this together, randomly. Gosh. Now you haven't told me her birthday, because they're gonna probably think, oh, I know what date. Do this for me, don't write something I would know, write something I wouldn't know. Uh, you hit multiply? Keep it going, write another number. Uh, multiply it by a random four digits. Don't hit equals yet, because you're gonna help me as well. Okay. I want you to also think, she's thinking of random four digits, she had something specific. I want you to come up with something random as well. Four okay. digits, you hit multiply? Yes. Yeah, yeah, here. Keep it going. And write in your number. And you can hold on to this. Thank you. Now I needed somebody else's phone. So you, we're using your phone? Oh, it's okay. Just hit equals. That's all it is. Uh, and can we use your phone, actually? Yes. Yep. Perfect. This is a weird number. Wait, wait. Let's hold it this way. Ah, better. Can you see it there? That's how much money we're going to make. That's exactly how much money you're going to make. This show. <laughs> now, wait, wait, let me, you have your phone in, in hand? You know what would be crazy? Wow. Tell us. <laughs> Go to your dial pad. Okay. Say that number. 917. Sounds like a cell phone. Oh, by the way, it does. Try it, try it. Nine. You hold on to this. Seven. Say it to her. Five, three, six. Five, three, six, two, two eight, eight, six, eight. It's your phone. Oh my God. I'm That'd be crazy if it is. <laughs> what the freak? <gasps> oh my no. God. Yes. It's no. my number. I don't want to. I don't want them to see. <laughs> How? Thank you, by the way. I have a lot of, lot of fans. That's insane. Wow. That's crazy. What? That's your phone. phone is, okay. Mine. Wait, I don't understand that. I'm scarred. I'm scarred. You know what? Let, let's take it a step further. Let's do something I don't know. Let, let's take it. Let's take it a step. <laughs> who uses that? Who actually? Because nowadays with the with the with the with the new phone, you could just look at it. Who still uses a password? Do you still use a password? I do. You have a password on your phone? Yeah. Let me ask. Do you have a boyfriend? No. If you did, would he know your password? Never. My boyfriend knows my password. Your oh. It depends if I I trust him. The last one, no. Huh. He's Doesn't psycho. <laughs> what do you think? Should, should relationships, should they have each other's or? Yeah, if it's yeah. a good one. But if it's not, no. Uh, that's why you should break up. But, that's interesting. Yeah. What if you dated somebody that could, let me show you. Tell me. Here, uh, open up the calculator here. Take it. Yeah. Um, this time, too. yeah, go ahead. Like if you need to take a photo and you have their phone mm -hmm. or whatever, like, so you don't want to be like, hey, babe, can you do you know? But then oh, if you're so cheating on them, then that's... I forgot. I know, I know. That's, that's really <laughs> what relationships should stop doing, yeah. <laughs> I don't keep passwords. I keep it. I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. I would definitely... Let's see, I think I know it. I have to... Well, yeah, because it's like, he knows. If Do you know? Yeah, yeah. Actually, just my just because some people forget. Make sure, make sure, turn of it off and turn it off. Make sure that you know the password. I'll turn it off so I can't see. One, like thirty seconds. My Did you lock used it? Used to read all of my messages and like he used to flip out on me. He'd be like, "They're my comedy friends." Right. But, and they were. 
Right. He's so crazy. Okay. No, still didn't work. I think I know it. You sure? Right, no, 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 because because do you have your phone actually? Yes. But she doesn't. Well, you get a producer. This is all live, so a I lot have, of. I I know it. It's fine. A hundred percent. Yes. Yes. No, what though? My password. password. I forgot. Yeah. Because my brain is weird. Go. Oh. I know it. It's, okay. it's okay. true. <laughs> this is good. Do this. Uh, here, turn on, turn on the phone. Yeah. Uh, turn on. Do, use the same thing, uh, but this time I want you to not to let, not even let, don't even let them see. Okay. We'll go a deep, uh, 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 one way, a little deeper basically. Okay. Do this for me. Uh, take the, shit. Do this, do this. Think of somebody close to you. Okay. Not the birth, not your, not your birthday. Somebody that you would know their birthday, but don't tell me this person. Okay. Yeah, somebody hopefully you know the day they were born, but don't tell me who this person is. Um, wait one second. Yep, take your time. Minute. Um, this should be random. I think, I think I'm right about the year. I have to know the year too, right? Yep. Okay, wait. Yes. Yes? I'm ready. Do this. Calculator in hand, you do this. Take the, take the month they were born. Okay. So that number times the day they were born. It's going to be interesting with this person. Mm -hmm. So you just put the month times a day, yes? Yes. Hit equals. Now you could have probably done this in your head. That's not okay. the point. The point is we're going to go bigger. You're going to hold the phone the entire time this time. Okay. Hit multiply one more time. Yeah. Do this. Do the year. Now it doesn't matter. You can put 19, whatever, or you could just put two numbers. The point is to be random. Don't tell me. Okay. You did that? Yes. Last but and you hit equals? I'll do equals. Hit multiply one more time. Okay. And the reason that I want it is just because uh, I don't want to just put in your password. Don't, let, don't even let them see. Multiply it by your password. This is a number I definitely don't know. Because some people watching, I've done this enough that people say, oh, okay. I know what happened. Mm -hmm. You just asked the family member. You just asked behind right. the camera. Yeah. I wouldn't have known who you thought. Did you hit equals? Equals. And you, have a, you probably have a big number now. Yes. The reason I wanted you to just see if you know your exact password is that in a second you're going to help me. Uh, and you can actually stand on this side. Stand on. You guys both look at the number. Maybe you can have a camera come to see what they're looking at. Can you see that number that you're looking at right now, that answer? Yes. Should I put it to the camera? Yeah. Now, I'll try this. Okay. Did you multiply it right? No. Look at the first number, yes? Yeah. First number is a two, yes? Yeah. Second number is a seven, yes? Yes. It is? Yes. The third one is a four? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, seven, four, zero? Yes. Now there's nothing in my ear that's like giving me answers, yes? Yes. Right. Two seven four zero one? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Two seven four zero one two? Yes. Last number zero. How are you yes. doing this? Yes. I don't get it. It's <laughs> creepy. Two seven four zero one two zero? I Guys. guess it's pretty similar. <laughs> it's Mashiach. You're well, well, I, I, what is going on? I, I was, I was. He's he does script? magic, but he doesn't wait, know wait, how wait. to write numbers. Wait, yes. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh. Oh my God. Devonte. Ah, that is so Devante. weird. Devonte. Good job, Devonte. How'd you do it? That's a good one. <laughs> Look at him. I don't get it. Guys, this is so creepy. You need to be taken to the steeple. What is it? The britches? You, hang him. Hang him. Witch. Uh, <laughs> witch. 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 You're witch. a bitch. Witch. <laughs> Remember that from do you Practical read, Magic? Do you read <laughs> palms? Ever. I don't. I don't believe in stuff like that. I was uh, hearing you talk about it earlier. Can you grasp my grandmother's name from my face? <laughs> I can't. Uh, uh, oh, do you, do you want to come on the side? Um, but uh, when you can know, tell, you can Canada. tell a lot by a we face. Need to do a shout out to her. Oh, really? What could you tell? Um, here, take I can your just phone. Take into your phone your for a second, and people oh, can hear me. Gra grab your phone. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. So you just asked, what could I tell? Yes. Lock your phone for a second. It's not locking. So let's see. Here. How do we oh, lock it, it, magician? Let's see. Maybe because your finger is already set on it. On yeah. Ah. Okay. Good. 
Yeah. So you probably don't even type it's in your magic. password. You just, <laughs> it's just magic. Exactly. What's not magic is they won't let Apple won't like open phones up for anybody. Like it yeah. doesn't matter. You the FBI. But if you do this, you can get a little something. Now the first couple of tricks, the reason that they might have seemed like you know. Kind of like, what, what are you doing with the calculator? The truth is that I'm trying to see how you think, um, like the person you would have thought of. Um, man, this person, it, most people go with like their mom or their kid. This isn't neither of this to you, correct? Yeah. Just answer this for me. If you were to consider yourself complicated or simple, what would you say? Complicated. Interesting. No? Am I? I don't know. Look at me. Yeah. See, if I were you, I would go, no. <laughs> how, how, how? He's how? a mentalist. That's so weird. He guessed her password. And yeah. Why? He's a mentalist. But also, who'd I go with? I sometimes like what you were saying about the, the, the mind. Can I see your hand for a second? I don't read minds. Uh, what, yeah. what sign are you? You tell me. No, I don't read minds. <laughs> what, what? Leo. Leo. But these people that, that read the hands and stuff, I've learned they have like little okay. tricks. Am I going to die? No, I know. No, no, no. I I don't, I'm not going to tell your future. I don't do any of that stuff. What, what I'm saying is this person you thought of. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you know what they, don't say it out loud, but do you know what they are? Like, what, uh, what sign they are? Yeah. Uh, yes. You, you do? Yes. This is a water sign, yes? Oh, I'm not, I think a so. Scorpio? I'm pretty, yes. Yeah? Yes. They're about to be 29, but they're 28, yes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I could keep here, but yeah, I don't want to. Ah, okay, can you make anything? Wait, but you didn't say who because it was. That's a request from our, our audience. Can I make something disappear? <laughs> like, <laughs> like me? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe, maybe this. I'll show you a trick. Yes. Sit down. Wow. You're you, you, you sit you, down. Keep it going. So when I mean a trick, I, don't, I didn't notice I didn't say magic. I used the word trick, literally a trick. Okay. Um, you will all learn the trick immediately because you'll see exactly where it goes. It's almost yes, as if it's it. going to go up the sleeve. You guys will see where it goes. Mm -hmm. What's weird is she won't. This is how I teach because uh, wow. you're going to, yes. to you, yeah, 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 yeah. it's going to disappear. But to them, they're going to see where it goes. Watch. One, mm -hmm. two, three. Where's the ball? In your hand. No, no, you do know. But watch, just keep watching and oh, you'll learn a little I bit. I won't watch. talk, yeah. Here? And it's, it's just a game. There's nothing like you don't lose anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> and so this is called conditioning, right? One, two, three. Now where is it? Watch this. This is called condition. <laughs> I like that one. Wow. Yeah. Clap it up for her. Clap it up. When <laughs> <laughs> you watch the read one, you'll see where it goes. Wait, now, you guys just got a lesson. No, you do it to the audience. So now you want me to do something. No, I want you to do the same one, but this way, so they see what it looks like. Guys, this is Well, they saw. Amazing. They saw what happened. We did. We saw what happened. He showed it No, but us. can you see what the view of her is? They like? can imagine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, in, in essence, that, that's what would happen if they saw something disappear. Let me give you an example. Okay, I like that. So, in, uh, when you're, when Wait, you're... so magic isn't real? Wait. Wait, but you had you have my password? password? Right, it's in the kitchen. Now it's coming together. How do you know my password? <laughs> so I'm freaking out. So we ripped, we ripped those up. Um, let me get a, a fresh stack here. Let yeah. me use... <laughs> they said make something... Dis uh, I'll kind of show you. A little bit of what, what like stealing looks like. You guys have seen this, right? Stealing? I'm no. kidding, I'm kidding. Come, come, come. They said I'm a Look. thief. Indicted. Qu <laughs> Queen of hearts, queen of diamonds. Um, put your fingers out like this. Now, you said you want me to do it, and, but first I'll teach it and then I'll do it. Yes. Two queens. Like first this. I'll teach you, then I'll actually do it to the camera. Everybody will see what happens. 
So I'm going like that. Yeah, exactly like that. No, I want you to do it and then teach it. I'll do the reverse and I'll show you why. Okay. The queen of diamonds, because it's a challenge for me. I'm going to show you and I now challenge you to basically see if you see me do it. Queen of diamonds in your hand, I have what's called the, uh, the switch card. The switch card looks like that. Show it okay. to them just one last time. Yes? That's yes, the queen I of... Yes, I saw that. Yes? Yeah. Queen of hearts. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, So the queen of hearts is going to switch with this one. This is teaching you. So I'm like this. Look, queen of hearts, this is teaching you, is going to switch with... No, no, hold on to the queen of hearts. It's going to switch. Now, that's what she said. You did see this, yes? Mm -hmm. But did you see both of them change? Show, yeah. show. <gasps> oh my God. What the hell? I just did it. I did it. Stop it. I did it. Wait, how? What's going on? Now? I just did it. I'm such a that good magician. A good that yeah. was a really but, good one. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Thank you. Wait, how? you need to teach us. Wait, how? You jerk. I told you. How'd you switch them? And I did. You don't need I don't that. get it. <laughs> So, so now this is what you do. You you do things to women, and now yeah. Wait, they said ask him some guy questions. Okay. Ask him some guy. Questions. One is what's your trick to getting a girl? And don't do magic. No. <laughs> don't do. Wait, I actually have a question. Oh, do you? Tell I have a question. You do you think there was anything we said in the first half that was anti-man? Like, and you be completely honest. No. no. I'm all about the brutal truth, and like, no. Like, I thought I think most guys need to hear that. I think like when I was sitting there. I was just thinking that, like, I mean, I've never been in, like, just in, in a room like this with girls talking about what you guys are talking about. Obviously, that's what makes yeah. you special is that you're talking about a lot of stuff. Aww. But so if this is, like, new for other girls, like, you were hiding it to men. So what do you think other girls are doing, right? Like, they're not telling men. So now you're out there, yes, and, and it's to show the girls, but I'm sure there's a whole bunch of guys are like, yo, like, let me take notes. No, because, totally. Yeah. There's, yeah. like, a lot of guys watching. They're like, we didn't even know this. This is, like, yeah. so cool. No, so it's good. Uh... Like, do you remember your first time experience? Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of experiences. What, what kind of experience? With cum. Who coming? Me or the... Yes, what you, was your alone. first time? I mean, if it was alone. He or did it with a like. chair. That's every guy's experience. A chair? That's weird. That sounds uncomfortable. I hear about it all the time. That's Melissa Diaz's joke. <laughs> I was at her show yesterday. Yeah, no, funny. hers is yeah, with a couch. Yeah, you bump into a couch. Hers is yeah, with a couch. My funny. friend did it with a chair. A wooden yes. chair. Yes. One Hilarious. like that, actually. All right, well. I could stand. Was it with a chair? Okay. Wait. So Coming? No, I don't think it was. A, it, might, it, must, it had to be like, like jerking off type of, you know. Like, with you know, what? as a kid, a like what? a 13-year-old. 13? Yeah, something like On that. your sheets? No. Like, Wait, why is 13 ex exciting? Is that too no, early it's, to you? It's crazy it's to me because I know adoption. people who are 13, well, like boys. They're locked and in the bathroom just like, all the time. Whoa. I have people who are on my podcast that did it at six the first time. Six? Cool. Tequila? How do they even remember <laughs> that? I need, I need to take a tequila. How do they remember <laughs> that? You don't remember things from when you were six? No. Well, I block out my whole childhood. <laughs> okay. Okay. For, because I, why well, you don't Water. like my out? Oh, and what? Okay. I'm so confused. Tequila. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. So you, but had you learned about it from friends? Was it talked about with friends? Like, I remember he, I got one good advice young. Somebody had said like, kids only learn how to have sex from from porn. Right. So I was right. like, I was put onto that early. I was like, all right, I'm not, you know, I'm smart. I'm not gonna try to just you know like go crazy on aggressive. So, I mean, at my time there was Google, so you know I was just googling V spot and this, and I was like, I'm gonna go incorrect, you know. V spot. Yeah. You know, That's the name of a restaurant, the V Spa. It is. It's vegan. It's yeah. It's vegan. And there's comedy there. Alex Carabano. Right. There was amazing Alex. shows there. Hello, Late Alex. Night Hi to the family. Um, I, did, I did their mother's birth. Uh, their mother's, like, I don't remember uh, how old she was. 21. But yeah, I did the, the owner's mother. Of it? V Spa. Yeah. Oh. Wait, you fucked her? Yeah. That's weird. No, did I didn't. You had oh, Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> You're like, I did his mom. Um. <laughs> I did her with my brain. Wait. Oh, and is it going to be a show, right? What's today, Wednesday? There's a show there tomorrow, right? No, I thought it's on Tuesdays. Oh, is it Wednesday, Thursday? What? I feel like they have shows every night. Every night, yeah. Oh, it be um, terrific. There's going to be a show at the V-Spot tomorrow. Oh, at, oh really? At, at 8 o'clock. Because I, I might be popping it in. We'll be there. Just collaborate or perish, guys. I right? didn't know about this. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of a book. Do you remember your first girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, are you still together? <laughs> No. <laughs> do, you, do you still love her? No. Why? She was terrible. Do, are you single now? Do you cheat on all your girlfriends? No. <laughs> no. I only asked that because of the password question. Right? Wait, no, but you know what's interesting? When you were surprised by that, I was like, you guys should go sit in a... Because 
you guys should go sit in a, like another like you should find three other like I'm gonna go find three friends and like put you guys onto the shit you you know like right, there's stuff you really think a lot of pressure. and it's yeah so wait no, what's a lot of actually, pressure no I'm saying like to bring in so she's exposed like, you're exposing a lot of things women think and don't right. say yeah and so what I was saying earlier about like the cheating I'm like like look at what's happening like with with all these like basketball players and people like like it's just coming out it's nothing necessarily is new I'm not saying that I cheat right. I'm just saying. Right. Well, I think that what's coming up... No, no, but I think that's an important conversation, too, that we've been having a lot, and it's like, ooh, like, everyone is kind of, like, have it, has an open relationship, but they're just not being honest about it. I mean, not everybody. A lot right, of people lot don't of people. cheat, but right. a lot of people do. Yeah. And that's the, the, fuck, the only fucked up thing is the honesty part. Like, right. you could e easily be like, I want to bang other girls, I want to bang other dudes, and we still want to bang each other. But it's that, that sneaky, like, the transparency thing is where, like, the polyamorous people, I think, have it right. I mean, I think it's weird that people have been, tried to be monogamous for so long. Because I think it, it works for really some people, sense. but, like, just like some people like their nipples touch and some people like it up right. their butt. Like, some people like to exactly. be monogamous and some people don't. Right. But I guess you just have to find the partner that wants the same thing you want. Exactly. Or partners. <laughs> Which, or but how do you bring that Or up family or commune. How do you, you got, bring you that up to it. someone? I think you got to first be I yourself. Read the chat. And if you're being it, yeah. you're going to attract somebody that's that's down with that. You know what I mean? You're not going to attract somebody that's not down with that. See, My friend I'm is having with, his yeah. first polyamorous relationship because he started be... dating a girl or whatever and they were just seeing each other and then she was okay. like, okay, well, you should know that I'm like, before seeing... we get exclusive, like, yeah. I, we're not going to get exclusive. Mm. Like, I have these other people and, like, how do you feel about that? And he was like, oh, that's interesting. And then he's loved it. Like, it, it, some people end up, they're like, but no, I it. don't love it, I'm gonna leave. I and then some people's like, ah, I'm home. Do guys get jealous? But God, that's like, how you get yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not into that, like, I'm not into sharing and shit, but. Really? Yeah, that, that's, Even, like, what about I, yeah. if it's another girl? Sharing what? Me? Like, sexual I mean, I wouldn't things. be sharing, so, I mean, <laughs> they would be sharing me in that oh. case. But I don't like sharing. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. Like, I like not. Because, yeah, that's I like. That's a lot of it is people are like, oh, I'm down to talk about other people, but I don't, but want, I don't want you, you to. It's bad. And that's where dishonesty comes in. And that's where it's like, oh, I think I'm better than you and I deserve more than you. That's not an equal First relationship. All, Get out. I'm right. not going to, I'm not going to hook up with other people. But if let's say I, I'm like, let's say I'm like with someone and like, you know, having sex with them, but they're not good for, you know, the future, like marriage. Mm. I'll date other people. Doesn't mean I'm going to hook up. And the second that the, those dates become something that could be something, then I'll drop the guy that I'm just fooling around with. Does that make Does sense? Does he know from the beginning that you found Yeah, I would tell them. This is all hypothetical, oh. but it did but, happen. If, yeah. But if, yeah. <laughs> Not now, but that would be the ideal situation because mm. sometimes people just need a friend, not a friend, but some person that they're hooking up with. Oh, yes. yes. Fuck and, yeah. But they also know they're not the one. I, I'll pull something to you guys. As a magician, I, I uh, like my job is to hold secrets mm -hmm. from people um, right. for a living. Okay. And uh, what they get is the sensation of that suspending of disbelief, call it, right? Like, the one of the best magicians said, like, it's crazy magic. It's like you're, you're fooling people and then you're making them like it, which some people don't like to be fooled. And I, and I never try to make it about that. But let me go back to this idea of sharing, uh, of keeping secrets from people and watching them sort of be happy and sort of like, so, so you're saying like, what, here's my question. Mm. Do you think that there's a, a relationship out there where partner A, male or female, is, doesn't want to know yes. if, if partner B is with somebody else? Because then that gives them that sort of, or her so, but, that, illusion, like a d illusion. I think there are those. People, I don't agree with that. I want to but, see what you guys say. But they, like, they're not being honest with themselves. I think ultimately. But I think that there are people that have been like, well, if he does A, B, C, and D for me, I would like him. I would like to not know for appearances, because you gotta know, right? Uh, if someone's cheating on you. Wait, I need to know the real the question again. Wait. So somebody, so partner A is saying, I don't want to know what you know, what you're up to. Oh, no, I don't want to. Like you, you're like ignorance is bliss or something. Yeah. I, again, I hate this idea, right. but I'm just saying it because no, I've been like. Look at Melania Trump. The I want to know. States. She knows, and she's like. 
She wants to live in her illusion. That's what I'm saying. Doing. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people. What do they call it? Um, cuck, 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 oh, cuck, you said cuck, that. Cuck, yeah. Cuckold is for We do cuck, have a uh, specifically, other. though. Right. We do it's have a, a thing it. from Marla. This is a thing. Marla Should I read said it? That she said there was a time where she only slept with married couples. Who? Marla, one, one of our fans. A fan. And <laughs> wait, Marla only slept with married couples. And Dedrick, that's cool. B- boom, I mean, that's fine. or something. Yeah, as long as you're as if Marla, not. she was okay, and she said not really. Oh, Marla, I, yes, what's I know. up? I know, because she loves married couples. Well, well, maybe. But some people do like couples. Yeah, that's a thing. There's I'm a fucking drunk. app called when you Thrinder. Say couple, maybe, yes, you mean two? Thrinder. She wants both of them, or it. she likes like. She likes to be the new person in a couple. Gotcha. Okay. Because then That's, you don't yeah. have to form an attachment and you can kind of just experiment, but there's probably some issues behind that. Probably you should introduce She's your neighbors to her. Yeah. My friend was oh, fucking this Haitian her, couple and like her whole her. stand-up sets about it. Really? So, yeah. Wait, about what? <laughs> there's an amazing podcast on swingers. And oh, yeah? like so nice. I mean, can I feel you like you're very... Like, giving you have to be to be like, oh, here's my partner. Enjoy yourself. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd get so jealous. Yes. I'd be like, don't buy her dinner. Uh-uh. No. I like how the the beginning of the show was like you guys telling girls how to like trick people into like, <laughs> like, into hey, like hey, like, don't let them know you're a gold digger, but like you right. are. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like what the fuck bad. was that? That was Courtney. <laughs> no. Just like, just, here's the thing with a rich guy is you have to not talk about money because then they'll think you have no money. So just like pretend to <laughs> And then he'll buy you stuff. Exactly. You guys are giving away no. all the kind of secrets. Jesus Christ. I don't Christ. understand do that. Do you like when a girl offers to pay for stuff? Yeah. What? Do you, yeah. It's funny because I, I look at everything the same. Like everything's a game to me. Maybe as a magician. Like so, what you were saying. Like I pick that up immediately because that's the way I think. That's the way my brain thinks. It's everyone's putting on their He's best not, face. Yeah, he knows. You know what I mean? So like, if somebody were to do that. I'm more, it's sort of like we live in these pretenses. Like we, we right. you know, you're doing these things because of whatever. Yeah. And um, so yeah, so I would pick it up. Well, what, what, you know, so you can tell if a girl's faking an orgasm 100%. 100, uh, oh my God. Man, that's the one thing that I get tricked on too. <gasps> no, it's because you don't want to believe it yourself. Yeah, you're you like, oh, that I don't want to be overconfident. Noise, just, just cause, look. I do it. I bet you're good in bed. Would you rather blow somebody's mind with a trick or a uh, orgasm? An orgasm. Depends who it is. A woman that you're it's interested a big, in. a fat man. A woman that I'm in. Uh, that's, that's an obvious question. I mean, that's an obvious answer. I'm not going to answer it. I know the answer. Yeah. Let me do my math. I don't know. I mean, no. like, I'm a comic. You want to like, make her Sometimes come. I'd prefer to make somebody laugh than come. Yeah. Like, that's like, well, I get so, it. Well, I'm that's because you can make. Emotion because there's a joke here. But that's the guy that you like. Yeah. So wait, so if you meet the guy you like mm-hmm. and you want to have sex with, you would rather tell him a joke? No, I'm saying I, I like the response of, yeah. a, of someone laughing at me and like genuinely being like, ha ha, because I'm like, I can make anything. Does your boyfriend? Come. Yeah, that's let's, say, let's, why go here. let's go here. Do you, does your boyfriend. Say. Like, uh, for me, it's the opposite. Like, I, I look at, like, when I do magic, I'm not, I, I don't want to be trying to get, I don't, don't want to try to get with anybody or. Mm. So okay. if it's somebody I like, I definitely don't. That's why I don't try to mix magic with somebody I like. Oh. Um, but that's interesting. Don't you mix date? magic with pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So when you're like on a date with a girl and they're like, oh, do magic for me. That's like when people are like, do a joke. Yeah. Do they tell you that? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. See, I thought Upon magicians first were the meeting only people me. Like, no, no, no. You need yeah. to hang out with more comics. We understand you. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I, I was supposed to perform at the stand. I'm going to go. I'm going to shoot back. Yeah. Over. They do stage magic. Cool. At the stand. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got, I, I know. Uh, yeah. Nickel, Some Nickel. people are, yeah. Um, We're not going to talk about the bookers. On, on, yeah. So, no, I, I was going to say, like, with your question, I feel like for a girl, mm-hmm. probably they would want to make people laugh because, yeah, yeah you well, could, definitely. Got, but for That's a guy, opposite. Yeah. Yeah, we can make guys come just standing there naked. <laughs> with a chair. No. Well, how would a guy come on a chair? I don't Wait, know. Have they, you, have the you guys guy ever, said he was rubbing on the chair. Have you ever had a trouble? Have you ever trouble like not making a guy come? Have any one of you guys? Oh yeah, and it's like the most upsetting don't experience in the entire world. Something? No, but I'm saying like if a guy loses a boner, like <gasps> oh, yeah, you immediately are like. No, no, it no, it happens though, no, it happens. and and everyone's it's always common. it's me. I right. suddenly gained four thousand right. pounds. It's he hates me. I'm heinous. What did I do? Did he something smell like? Right. What does my butt look like? Ah. 
No. Ne- never. Is that not no. She's like, I don't, know what to, I don't know what y'all talking about. That would be about. horrible. No, but I don't really care as long as I come. Yeah. <laughs> She's been away from the game so long. She's like, listen, uh, I don't even really know how to talk right to her. <laughs> like, wait, so how, how many times would you say that you've banged? Many? A lot. With, when, when I have boyfriends, husband. like, all the time. Oh, okay. But my okay. ex. But you're not, but you're. But now I'm single. Okay. And I didn't have sex in a while stuff. until recent. Mm-hmm. And I didn't come. All right, I have a trivia game for us. Okay. okay. So it's time. Okay. It's time for the game. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit, uh, uh, a little plug of producers over here. So we, we have a show on Mondays uh, coming out on Be Terrific, uh, Monday, 6 p.m. So oh. cool, plug. There, done. Wait, but Real Magic is the name so of the show. So we're not doing any more magic, we're done. You have to wait till, till, uh, today. till Monday, we'll 6 p.m. But it was so much fun. You guys have so much else to talk about, yeah? Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Now we're going to play a trivia game with the audience. And if you can answer this correctly, we will fly you out to New York City, and you can be in our show in this loft. Really? <laughs> Look, I have to ask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, yes. we have that. <laughs> so, okay, but you have to get it before that you guys do. <laughs> Okay. If you live in Brooklyn and Wait, win so this we get game, it, we, get we will back. bring you, you to, to you this block. <laughs> I get to go. Round two. Okay. Other than the genitals and the breasts, what is the other part of the body that swells during intercourse? Oh. Anus. Wait. I wonder if that's true, but no. Jeez. One second. It's actually something wait, wait. weird that you're not Oh, you're saying? Oh, I'm no, waiting. Go. Okay. And I will see if anyone on here, but you can't Google. This has only 10 seconds. Okay, no one's done. It's ears. Oh. Ears, that's a good question. I, was say I mean, that. answer, but it Feet. is. Feet. No. Oh. It is the inner nose. Yeah. Okay. Really? The oh. inner nose is the only myself. body part. What gets crazy? It's yeah. made from the same erectile tissue as. So could you come from yes. your nose? Yes. You think so? This is another orifice. I mean, think about how great sneezing feels. Oh, that's true. It's totally like an orgasm. It's fucking fantastic. It's connected. Everything here is connected to the brain. So So people are having sex with finger my nose. Yeah, once you go nostril, you never go back. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Okay, Uh. there was a very famous woman who, despite having three also very famous husbands and lovers, Namely, Frank Sinatra, the Kennedys, and she was never able to reach orgasm. The only time she did, the first time was with a psychiatrist, and then she died. Who was this person? Marilyn Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. Yes. Wow. You guys are doing terribly on here, so you're coming back. Marilyn Monroe. We're just trying to not make you spend flight money on anyone. Thank you so much. Yeah. (laughs) Did <laughs> not have an orgasm except Parking like a psychiatrist told her how. She's like you, oh, basically. Wow. Yeah. Okay, how long is the clitoris? One, oh, four, four, inches. four inches, because she said that. Not Ava Gardner. It is four inches? Jesus. Three to four and a half inches long. Wow. Ooh. I don't know. Now you know. You got me on that one. Okay. How long is my. How long is his dick? <laughs> Here, put it in the calculator you know and mold one. and divide by a way. thousand. So right That's okay, how many times a year does the average American couple have sex? Times a year? Yes. 52. 30. That's... Wait, how many times a year? A Wait, I'm going to tell you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck, this is a long... Price is right rules. 60. She's going by her number. Price is right rules is you sit, you 60. don't go above. Oh. Smart. So then... It's, it's 66 times I said 60. All right, then Devon. That means I won. Like most Wait, what did you say? not having sex. Yeah. I heard that Wait, you like couples higher? are really... No, that's more than like one. Four. That's like one Some people really weeks. don't like it. Some Hello. Don't like they it. don't like to bang. Jews can't have sex for two weeks. That's well orthodox. That means, ones. yeah. Yeah. What well, during, during, during the mikvah? During the period. Period. I, I did the mikvah. Did you? Yes. Last yes. Oh, I and wish the, I had a the last my Jewish time episode. I went to the mikvah, there was a rat in the mikvah, dead. That's disgusting. I know. Wait. So cleansing though. Yeah, and they're like, the girl came back because she like ran out. And she came back and she's like, don't worry, you're still kosher. I was like, oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. what I was worried about. Marla, just keep playing. You'll get, you'll get there. Okay. Wait, two weeks a month? 
Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, yeah, explain this to, to the dude from yeah. Brooklyn. I don't know what so, you're talking about. So, so okay. for you get the Orthodox period. Jews, yeah. they, women get their periods, right? And then from that moment. Only the Orthodox ones. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> the okay. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but so when the women get their period, then the men are immediately not allowed to touch them. Yeah. Not even touch. Not you can't even, even touch. I can't you even can't share. Like, yes. like, let's say you're yeah. a man yeah. here. Yeah. No, no, because, no, because. Because it's oh, oh, she's dirty. Yeah, mm. and, yeah, and so then uh, she finishes her period, and then a week later she gets dipped in the mikvah and she's clean again. Wait, I didn't tell you the whole. No, yeah, a week later, but you have to do these check cloths. Do you know about this? No. Okay, they're like little uh, cotton squares of cotton, <laughs> square white, right? And after your period's done, you have to take it and put it in your vagina like this, and then if it's clean. That means one day kosher. Because you have to be seven days in a row kosher. Oh my God. Yeah, and, one, and then if you have a question, this is where it gets weird. If like, oh, what is this color? It's brown, red, I don't know. And you want to be clean, you send it to your rabbi and, uh -huh. you, and he checks the cloths and he'll tell you. <laughs> That's my insane. Like, but then, it's a culture. But, but it's a culture. It's supposed to be really nice Holy, sometimes. It's supposed to be very good when you for, reunite yes. and like, and it's supposedly very holy and. Nice. But I don't. I, I wish. I, don't I wish it that had that without right. the female being That's gross really part. Cool. I am Jewish. But they don't and say the it's the female. But it's implied. Especially right. I, I I see. It's so weird because like growing up in it, I didn't think it was such a big deal, and I. I right. Saying this story in like acting school or something, and everybody was like, oh, "That's so against the girls," right. and blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Where they make you think you're special, oh, right. right? Like you get to go. But to it's the like mixer. the Handmaid's Tale. Those girls that get pregnant and stuff—they're so special, and we love yeah. them. But they beat the yes. shit out of it. I can go on for days. It's oh crazy. God, Let's get back to your little quiz. Which of the following were <laughs> bisexual? Socrates. Aristotle, Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin. Aristotle. I only know about Plato. About I'm going to say Socrates. Oh. Okay, all of the above. Oh, Great. I was going to say that too. <laughs> but what, I don't get it. Was it uh, Socrates? Like, oh, I like. Aristotle, a lot of Greek. So, <laughs> no, a lot of Greek culture is, uh, they were super open actually with sexuality. And there was a yes. practice called pederasty. I um, you know, you're she's so smart. smart. I know. <laughs> I went to Riverdale. Um, <laughs> I went to private school. Um, I swear private schools are better because my husband knows everything and I'm like, what? No, no, no. And it's some people have retention and some people don't. Everybody learn the same <laughs> shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, no, pederasty was, was, being gay was fucking cool. It was actually mm -hmm. like you fuck dudes and then you just make kids with women. But um, pederasty was like, oh, I want to be a blacksmith. Uh, hey, could I be like your little apprentice? And they'd be like, sure, I'm going to teach you everything and also we're going to bang. Like the priests and everything too. Oh. Everyone. Oh. Wow. But it was like I did not it was like that. nice and loving and teaching and not like creepy. I feel like a lot of men who are like married would still be like that. That's why yeah. people. There's a lot of straight men that fuck sure. guys. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Didn't they also wait? Oh, no. Go. I was gonna say they had sex with kids too. There's just no? so many, so many questions. Um, yeah. okay. I mean, people died at like 33, so what's a kid? Oh, what's the size of the average erect penis? Six inches. Eight uh, inches? Two. <laughs> I bet it's four. Guys, uh, the Marlo, you have not responded. The answer is men bust an average of five and a half to oh. 6.2 inches in length. So you are pretty much right. Okay. Yeah. And 4.7 to 5.1 inch is in circumference. Is that like that? Let me say. I don't know. I don't oh. know. I'm just <laughs> I mean, does anyone really know? It's about like that. So basically men are smaller than you like imagine. So it's like this. <laughs> it's like that, right? Yeah. And that. That's a nice dick. 
Right. Uh, Hebrew National. Um, okay. How that's, common? <laughs> I have no comment on that. How common is premature ejaculation? 5 to 10% in men of all ages, 20 to 30, or 50 to 65? 5 to 10. 20 to 30. You were correct. Wow. She knows everything. Don't. Yeah, she really is a Riverdale. On this whole sex thing. Okay, which of the following is not a known libido killer? Wine, antidepressants, or exercise? Exercise. <laughs> That was yeah. Like an easy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had to have sex with someone on oh, antidepressants? Well. Yes. No. It's not good. No, no I, I, I actually. Did. Well, but so your they don't get fine. Yeah, my no. libido's fine. Oh. Yeah, and I. I don't know why they. Well, say maybe that. your libido no, no, just no, no, got no. to regular. No, but SSRIs and you say, do decrease. Uh, yeah. And sometimes they make, like, I have everybody tell me their shit now because of my podcast. My friend's mom came up to me. She's like, I can't come anymore because I'm on Klonopin. Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> that's not good. No. Wait, I thought Klonopin was supposed to make you, like, relax. Is it Could, There's a lot. Who SSRIs, knows? they're SSRIs, called. Right. Yeah. They're great. So guys can't get hard and girls can't come? Or just Sometimes no it's a, a, like, what's it called? Libido? It just like her, and sometimes yeah. okay. it makes you not be able to come. But like, we have about okay. ten minutes or really less left. So I have a few other questions. Okay, there is one. Hold on, this one's a good one. Where'd it go? All right, I'll just go with this one. Magic. In both men and women, the part of the brain known as the lateral orbitofrontal cortex shuts down during orgasm. What is this part of the brain known for? A, language and memory. This is shut down during orgasm. B, reason and behavioral control. That one. Yeah, that one. Or C, movement and orientation. <laughs> nah. No, uh, reason. Yeah. He just wants to do his magic tricks. No, he doesn't. He's here to play. Does it? Uh, trust me. Yes, this the is the best is magic B, trick. B, reason yeah. and behavioral control. So when you orgasm, you lose control. Yeah. Literally. And that's why people like it. Uh, just be out of control. Also, okay. it's... Very similar to doing heroin, which I really on here. And there's like a percentage, and I don't know where it went. It was like 60% the same feeling as doing heroin or hmm. something. It's um, wait, it's like the thing. chemical that's released in your brain? Yes. Serotonin. Oxytocin? Wow. Yeah, maybe something like that. It's like literally a drug. Yeah. I've never tried heroin, but <laughs> it's, uh, I will if it's like an orgasm. No, don't get Sounds on that horse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious that. issue. We were all there yeah. saying, really? Yeah. Opioid. There's a she massive opioid issue right now. Right. President Trump will be upset. Yes. Okay. Just, just across, I'm upset. <laughs> across the globe, how many times a year are lovers having sex? 731 times a year, we 139 just, oh my, times oh. a year, or 334 times a year across the world. 334. <laughs> yeah, by the way. The lowest number is 334. But that, yes. 334. <laughs> Jesus Christ, right? that's more than once a day. It's 139 times a year. That's what I thought. Oh, so I thought lower. Like Europeans are oh. having way more sex than us. Yeah, but married are. couples only 66. Right, so don't get married if you want. So to that sex. means a lot of people are having premarital sex and sinning. He, They've sure. been doing this. Yeah. When? Right. What are you talking about? What is marriage? Oh, they you they go against your, your the daughter rival? and a husband. Oh, oh, this, <laughs> the thing about heroin is the a researchers. <laughs> Back to the heroin. Study. Think about heroin. Just in case you were so, in. ladies, if you want to land yourself a rich man, you got to get some heroin. heroin. <laughs> The brain the during part. orgasm is 95% the same, apparently, as when you're doing heroin. 95%. That me and that means, like, it's the so, longest orgasm ever when you're doing heroin. That means, like, happens, you're having, like, two... How <laughs> long does heroin last? It's the moral of the show, go do heroin. Yes. Oh, my God. Could you... Do you want to know the name of could your you, podcast? It's How oh, Come. How Come podcast. on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. You can find it on CUM. Just, yeah. Uh, iTunes, not Twitter, not, Instagram, yeah. is, Facebook. Uh, how okay. come? Um, Do it. We only have a couple minutes. I want to just get. What are your next episode? When is the yeah. next episode coming out? Oh, Sunday. Awesome. What is yeah, it? Yeah, so they come out every Sunday. 
Um, this next episode coming out is on Judaism, and actually, I want to listen. Uh, it's was- the founder of J Swipe is on oh, it, and wow. my friend Robbie Hoffman, who is a comedian, and she writes for the Chris Gethard Show, and she's nominated for an that's Emmy. Never- oh my god, that's and she awesome. was a Hasidic Jew, and she's a what? lesbian. So, oh my what? god, yeah. there's a lot going there's on. There's a lot there. there. Wow, you should meet her. I want to well, meet her. I wish that you were on that episode. I- yes, you are. Maisel. Yeah, because I got married young, mm-hmm. and I had to move back home. My husband mm-hmm. was indicted. <laughs> yeah, I came home. He's like, I'm indicted, and then I had to go home. And then my parents were like, you need to get married again, make this oh, work, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You had to downsize. You can't have two sets of china anymore. Yeah. Get it? It's a Wait. kosher joke. Um, meat milk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I snuck it's in. It's not funny if you have to explain it, right? <laughs> no, I, by the way, I do a joke about meat, spoon, and milk. Like, that was a sin. Mm-hmm. And I have to explain it sometimes. But then the explanation makes it funny. Mm-hmm. Or the call yes. out of what the F is a meat spoon. Whatever. She's like, I yeah, did bad boys. Yeah, it's, once. it's a whole thing. Okay. But, What's um. Eat cheese with a meat spoon. Yes. Yeah, and then I snuck out <laughs> and sense. did comedy, and that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. yeah. And this is Maisel. Ex-husband. No, he doesn't do comedy. You're not your ex-husband. My your ex? Other... Well, they oh get my back God, together my ex-boyfriend's and Maisel. boyfriend's doing comedy now. Oh, it's effing weird. It's weird. Thing. He's doing shows my that I... My boyfriend's a comic. If we break up, I have an ex-boyfriend in comedy. Yeah, but yeah. You, didn't, you didn't date him, and then all of a sudden, he became a comedian right no, when you broke uh, up. I became a comedian. <laughs> oh, you, co- you were the one who did... I mean, I didn't but copy him. Dating, I was, oh. You weren't dating him. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Stupid. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. Okay. Um, how Marla often cares. do women Marla orgasms cares. during sex? Never. What orgasm oh. during sex? 5% of the time with intercourse, 95% of the time during oral, yeah. 25% of the time with intercourse, 81% of the time during oral, or 50% of the time with intercourse and oral? Tw- the first 20, one. I'm doing 2581. 20, 20, yeah. No, it is 20. Okay, this could totally be wrong because remember, we'll go back. Twenty-five percent of the time with intercourse, eighty-one during oral. Drop something. Oops. What? Say it again. Twenty-five during twenty-five percent during during intercourse. Uh huh. Eighty-one percent during oral. That sounds closer. That's but yeah. the one I I was thinking. Sure. Yeah, and so go down on girls. But meeting, right. so no. that means... And then we'll suck your dick. Like, <laughs> what's 25 plus 81? Suck each other's dicks. That's more than 106% of the time. And that means they're lying. Olga just said something smart. Yeah. What? what? And we missed... Because if you what add you 25 say? plus 81, that's 106. Okay, but those are separate. They're yeah. separate statistics. Oh, she's smart. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought out of 100... No, they're separate statistics. Okay. It's the Riverdale. I'm sorry. I really need to go to Riverdale. My kid needs right? to go to Riverdale. I have to pee. Wait, so isn't that I don't, is that it, the, the show is on? Riverdale? Oh, God. <laughs> wow. No, so there's Why a show. Riverdale's show actually Riverdale? about the Archie comics also took place in Riverdale. At, and their show was, their school was called Riverdale. But it's like, it's not the Bronx. It's like. But it's like the super nice part of the Bronx. It's the rich part of the yeah. Bronx. But that's not what the TV show is based on? It is and it isn't. Like, oh, they like kind of mesh them. It's No, but it's about Archie. And Archie also had a school called Riverdale. But that, we were never like, it was never like the same school. Oh. Do you have to wear uniforms? No. Really? No. I just I really... I wanted to wear uniforms. No, I dressed however I wanted. Do they have cheerleaders? No, I actually wanted, I, I wrote a petition because I wanted to, I started a petition yes, in seventh like grade because I wanted to be a cheerleader. Um, and they told me that it was sexist. What? So I was like, nerds. Wow. Was there like sports teams? Yeah, but they were terrible. So it, right. in fairness, it would have been sexist to have some, like us rooting for people who sucked. Oh. Uh. And go, you fucking terrible. <laughs> Riverdale boys. Oh my god. You have to have Teeny little really Jewish boys going up go against school? the guys from Harlem. Huh? Did, you, did you go to a like, regular school? <laughs> what what, what? That mean? What are you trying to say? <laughs> Were you homeschooled? Every What's a regular? Right <laughs> what did you mean by that? No. <laughs> uh, what, what? You went to school in Bushwick. Wait, aren't you from there? Flatbush. Flatbush. I went to Yeshiva Flatbush. I have a lot of Hasidic friends, actually. A lot of rabbis. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. A lot of cool friends. 
But to answer your question, what was your question? Did, Did you have cheerleaders and football teams at your school? Oh, a normal school, like a rah-rah like school. Rah-rah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just joking. Uh, I don't know. I, I wasn't focused on stuff like that when I was in school. He was focused on uh, magic. Yeah, I was doing magic. all sorts of bad stuff, like freshman, sophomore year, and then I got moved to the Bronx, and then that's when I like focused, and I didn't have any idea. But wow. I think so. I think the, the, the whole thing <laughs> has, has football teams for sure. You know what I mean? Do I remember cheerleaders? I guess. I don't remember. Maybe. Now, right? Football teams? The hood. The baseball hood. teams. Gets yeah. football teams. I, I, I wish I was like sure. playing sports, but I, w- I just wasn't. What were you? You were stealing shit. <gasps> That's yeah. what you said. Yeah, there's a whole documentary on it. Like, like, oh, like, really? Yeah, like I'll when, watch I, when that. I, when I, when I, like, it was like real friends of mine that was like, yo, you got a, you got a little talent like going on here. Why don't you work on it? And I just, like I told you, I thought it was like the softest thing in the world. I was like, why would I be... You know, I liked it's it. Like some I of my it. friends who used to sell weed have become like really great business people because like they are enterprising yeah. and they know how to like delegate to like a million people. All right. But yeah. We have to say. We need to sign up. Oh, no okay. Choice. Guys, <laughs> it's been so great. This has been so great. It's we been so are real. This is our guest. This has been extremely yes, real. We love you. Um, Thank you so much. Now, only having people to tell the truth. Yeah. That was great. Uh, so um, it's a How Come podcast. I wrote to Marla because she asked it again. And then your show. 6 p.m. Uh, so Monday, 6 p.m. Monday, 6 p.m. live. Wait, nice. and you can follow them yeah, Devante, on Instagram. Yeah. You do yours first. Which I think oh, we put. Did we put your Yeah, name? I think Devante. I think we put it. Let's yeah. just get it's nice, on. clean audio. Okay. <laughs> In a world. <laughs> so Devonte Magic, that's D E V O N T E Magic. That's it. Anywhere on Instagram or uh, Google. And you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Remy Casimir, K A S S I M I R, and How Come Podcast, spelled C U M like a little boy would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Be terrific. Be terrific. <laughs>